Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you see me? <laughs> I'm hoping this is working. It seems to be working. I know I say this every time, but I have real uh, <laughs> anxiety about um, about these things working. Technology working for me, because daily, on a daily basis, I am fighting technology. When you, uh, when I do film editing, I'm just always having some sort of argument with my with my computer. But anyway, hello everyone. How's it going? How's it going, Cinebang? Awesome. The uh, the the face, purple wide eyes that you posted earlier. I think it was before the stream started. It's funny because it's it's written rather than it being a emoji it just says on my uh on my chat here face purple wide eyes <laughs> i like it it's like a emoji translator cool so we're gonna be playing open roles uh, open roles open roads today I i'm gonna be fumbling on my words today because this is the first time i've actually vocalized today <laughs> Uh, I, I work from home, so sometimes I will not talk at all, except to my little husky dog. So yeah, so if I'm like a bit weird in terms of pronouncing things, uh, that's probably why. But we're going to have a nice cozy, cozy playthrough of open roads. Um, and a few things, a few things I've changed. So I have a little, little uh, extra bit of... Um, Hey, how's it going, emergency? Emergency food. How's it going? I have a surprise. For I have actually added the Nooker Cam. So there's a little ASCII dog. There she is. We're both very tired today. Because uh, little Nooker's had a very, a little bad stomach last night. Actually, she's had a bit of a bad stomach all week, so I've been sleeping on the floor with her and uh, been up and down during the night. So, yeah, I haven't had that much sleep. So another reason why I might be fumbling on my words and everything today. But yeah, there she is, having a lovely little sleep. And that's where she is. She's right behind me. So you can see right behind me the uh, my, my DVD Blu-ray collection. And she's just there. <laughs> Having a lovely little sleepy. And she might get up at some point. So usually about half full. As if anybody's ever watched one of my streams. One of my very few streams I've done. Half full. It's touch or go whether she'll get up and uh, just say, Listen, I'm pretty hungry right now. And I, I wouldn't mind going out for a bit of a stroll. So uh, maybe you should start what you're doing. Don't care how important you think it is. My needs are important right now. <laughs> but she's adorable. But it's nice. It's nice to be able to, to actually show her on screen in the videos. Because we hear her a lot, but we never see her. But there she is. When she wakes up, I have... Uh, a, she loves like shredding cardboard so if she wakes up i'm gonna give her a bit of cardboard and then uh she might do a bit of shreddies we call it shreddies she might shred up the cardboard so that's always adorable to, to look at but anyway let's play some games shall we open road so i've had this on my um on my steam wish list for a while and it just popped up on games pass and i was like amazing i don't have to uh have to buy it because <laughs> it's a pretty short game as well i think it's maybe two three hours long so we might actually get through the whole game all the way uh, all the way to the end of the game in this stream possibly but yeah i have no idea what to expect it's uh all i know is that the artwork seems really really cool it's like a combination of um uh, like animation 2D animation and, and sort of 3D environments. Um, seems pretty chill, but I have no idea. Hopefully it is. <laughs> Hopefully it is. It looks pretty chill. But yeah, thank you for all the uh, 
the, the comments. Oh, she's she's awake. There she is. Hey, Nookie. How are you doing, baby? Oh, you go back to sleep. Get in another comfy position. Hey, Rogue Law Wind. How's it going? How are you today? How is everybody today? Okay, we're going to leave Nookie alone now. Little Nooker. And actually play some some of this game. But, you know, we could. I could just do a stream. Just the dog, possibly. Yeah, we're going into the game blind. Definitely. It's the best way. Sometimes it's always good to... Uh, sometimes it's always good. <laughs> sometimes it's good to just surprise yourself. So, let's see if I get this right. Hey, there we go. Let's start. It's by Annapurna as well. So, we have played uh, an Annapurna game before. Um, it was the one I started actually... Tearing up. Okay, I think it's called a Midnight Blue. And I started tearing up at the end of that. Again, another pretty short game. But let's see. Let's see what this has in store. Open roads. Let's go. Tess, Neptune Casino Lounge. Road trips. Is that a father figure? Maybe. Oh, straight into it. Ah, Grandma's birthday. I'm guessing. Oh, I can zoom in. Oh, D to flip over. Oh, I like that. Ah, D and A to flip. Me, Mom, Grandma, Helen. Grandma's 80th. Man. She's had a very good innings. What a lovely... Lovely family. Let's pick this up. F to pick up. Mom wants me to pack up my room to get ready for the move next week. It's taken a while, but I'm pretty close. Just a few things left before I can cross it off my to-do list. Mmm. I'm liking this so far. I'm liking this art style. Okay. Um, I can, I, can I move around? Or I'm just stuck here? It's very jerky. Is that meant to be like that? Who knows? Oh, I can move. Hold the phone. What's happening right now? <laughs> Why is it doing this? I don't think it's meant to be like this. Is it? Frame rate. Pretty weird frame rate. That can't be right. Let's see if I can try a controller. Does that do anything? Oh, there we go. Controller is a little bit better. Why is that doing that? Very strange. Anyway, test his stuff. Ooh, turn on radio. Very nice. I don't know what year this is set in either. Pick up match books. All right then. Neptune Casino Lounge. Let's read. Yeah, Neptune Casino Lounge. Oh, they've collected a bunch of them. Mm, jackpot gyms. El Dorado. Blackjack slots. Cocktails. Nice. Okay, let's put back. Let's pick up a cup. Oh man, I love this sort of thing where you could just look at everything and there's like details of sort of story Manny's or is it Marnie's the best in the business what's this book liquid gold the history of Canadian American bootleg trade and the secret fortunes left behind can I read this oh. can I open it awesome Oh, let's see. Am I test divine? Maybe. So, 85, 89, 92, 2000, 2000. So, this could be like uh, 2003, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. It is. 
early 2000s. Looks like it. Let's pack it. Oh, who is this? Nice. There's something that is a lost thing. I don't know if people still go to like photo booths and take pictures like this. I used to love doing that. Oh, you can flip it over. Oh, so that is my dad. Me and dad, laser tag champions. Man, I haven't played laser tag for the longest time. I married Bigfoot. She's great. Aliens are here, and they want your favorite recipes. Man, they're not going to take my favorite recipes. Secret location of long lost bootlegger gold discovered. And only this man knows. I love it. I love that the, <laughs> the Bigfoot's got like a, a veil on. Nice. Can I, uh, can I do anything else with it? I can look closer, put back. I'm going to pack this. That's an essential, in my opinion. Search spots. Um, what was that? Birchville's Township Waterfront? Port Santlac, Leans Creek, Inland, Sugar Island, accessible by boat. Hunter's Point, Dyer's Bag. I'm sure this will all make sense at some point. Let's pack it. Pick up clipped out article. Hunt for buried boot bootlegger treasure. So this is... Oh, by Tess Divine. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, all right. Prohibited prohib prohibition in America was meant to stop people across the country from drinking alcohol in bars and their homes. But what it achieved was creating a booming industry of illegal alcohol imports, especially from Canada. Much of this so-called bootleg bootlegging was done in dead of night. Ferry barrels of alcohol across the border and huge sums of cash back to Canada. But much of this money was stashed, hidden, buried stateside by bootleggers for safekeeping until the coast was clear to bring it home. And some of that illicit treasure must have been left uh, behind when bootleggers were arrested by the authorities or killed in underworld dealings gone wrong. The locations of these abandoned uh, ca caches of riches may be lost to time, but hints and clues remain. My father and I have spent many a summer vacationing, vacation trekking down potential spots to search for this left behind bootleg of gold. None yet successful, but these local legends and history behind the is fascinating too. Oh, it's, can I look at the other side? Now, just one page. I'm going to take that. Why not, eh? All right, I've got a list somewhere. Do I have like an inventory? No. Come on, pick up. To do list. There we go. Wash dishes. Pack up rest of room. I guess we're packing everything up. Oh, pop bubble wrap. Wait a minute. I need to switch this mad music off. There we go. Oh. Not as satisfying as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I love popping bubble wrap. Oh, check this Mac out. Man. They don't design things like this anymore. I was a really cool design. I never owned a Mac, but I used to like this. This design. It was fun. Pick up an eraser. It's, uh, it's an eraser. Let's pack it up. Pick up a nail polish. Saint Jean or Jean. Nail lacquer. Pack it up. Getting another racer. Pack that up. Mug from Mom's work. So Oh, Dromeda Theatre. So they work in a theatre. Made in China. Microwave and dishwasher safe. Plane ticket. So where are we going? Hmm. Better leave these where Mom won't see them. Why? Oh. Oh, is this some sort of secret? Hmm. 
Okay. The Greenville High Gazette. What's it up here? Preparing for homecoming. Go cheer on the basketball stars as the season starts. So this is the official newspaper of Greenvale High School. Read all about it. Movie review. Pirates of the Caribbean. Matrix Reloaded. Man. <laughs> we are in the 2000s now, aren't we? Daily Rodriguez. Senior editor Jake Rowenthal Jr. Tyler T.J. Jones. Sophomore. So what is this? Never get... Marking the anniversary of 9-11. Oh, man. Our lives all changed on that fateful day two years ago. Oh, man, yeah. That would have been two years ago. Flip. Man, where's time gone? Man, it's making me feel, feel old now. <laughs> Seance, nail color, harness. Cool. Invoice. Yeah, they, they really were uh, revolutionizing the like uh, the, the design and stuff like that, Apple. But yeah, like you said, they, they release pretty much the same design every year. Um, in my opinion, I don't know if everybody else feels the same way, but it just looks the same. I do like I did like it when all phones look really, you know, different. The design is part of the competition. Web page design services, web publishing. Who is this to? Invoice 9, 2003. Hancock Highway, Greenville. Hmm. Sincerely, test divine, divine design. Oh, divine design. So, this is getting interesting. Oh, I just picked it up without looking at it. Okay. What's in here? I'm guessing the rest of the game isn't going to be as, as in-depth with looking at stuff as this. This is kind of um, onboarding, easing you in. What flavor is this? Popped in Dr. Smacker. Well, got to take that. Oh, is this my... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my grandmother died. Oh, yeah, back then they came out with lots of ideas. <laughs> so I'm distracting from the fact that it seems like my uh, my grandmother's died. Helen Sophia Devine, born in 1928, September 5th, 2000, 2003. My grandmother was, I, it was born in 1918, so it was 10 years older than this lady here. I find that crazy that she was born in 1918. Okay, can't take that. I have an array of nail polish and erasers. Lots and lots of erasers. Report card, how did I do? Is that... Oh, A's, B's, C plus in geometry. I can, I can see that. I would have not be able to do well in geometry uh, my grades were average at best pleasure to have in class pleasure to have in class missing assignments mm. great improvement in chemistry nice well let's pack it up Ooh, hair clips I'll pack them Webscribe. Oh, look at this early noughties design. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> I just love this aesthetic. This noughties, nineties and noughties sort of design was fun. Really fun. Uh, Pennymage Webscribe for Windows and Macintosh. Teach yourself. Pennymage. Subscribe in quick and easy way. Can I read this? No. Let's pack it up. I'm gonna need that. Uh, da, 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 da. Anything else? Pop some of this. Got my bags. 
Let's open this trash can. What treasures are in this? <laughs> Let's pick up a cookie bag. Butter kisses. Nice. I think I need to pack that. Some GDs, potato crisps, sea monster spice. Ooh. What's the uh, calories? 230. Hmm. Only a couple bags of them. Oh, clipped out article. Okay. Oh, I remember ha printing out web pages. <laughs> this is going to be an, a nostalgia trip, a nostalgia pie. Yeah. Anybody remember doing that? Anybody used to have to print out web pages? Man, I can't even remember the last time I printed something. Three dimension tips from a teenage grandson. So I'm guessing my, my grandmother maybe had some dementia towards the end. I'm guessing. Let's put this back. Anything else? What a paper. Yep, that's a water paper, all right. Oh, DVD covers. Ah, rented. Coolest. Oh, man. Alicia Silverstone. A rich, glamorous high school student tries to transform a new pupil into the most popular girl at school, but fate has other plans. Clue. Good choices here. Good film choices. Six teenagers are invited to a mysterious men. As uh, teenagers, strangers. Six strangers are invited to a mysterious mansion for dinner, but when their host turns up dead, anyone and everyone becomes a suspect. Man, Tim Curry is great in Clue. Can I pack these? No, I guess I need to take them back. How many razors do I do I need? <laughs> This is a real uh, eraser collector right here. Yeah, printing web pages was still a thing back when I was in high school. Um, yeah, I mean, the internet was... I didn't have the internet when I was in high school. Um, until uh, maybe just before I left. I had uh, Encarta Encyclopedia DVDs. I don't know if anybody remembers that. But yeah, basically the internet information on or an encyclopedia on on dvds no cds not dvds uh hey tess we're doing movie night at your place or oh, are we doing movie night at your place yes yes we are is this kind of like is this something i didn't do but it was very popular with girls in in school where you'd pass a note in class and uh and talk to each other that way. What movies are we bringing? Um, it's it's a comedy. Double feature night. I'll give you one clue as to which movies they are going to be. Uh, what is it? I already gave you. I already gave it to you. <laughs> it was Clue. Let's pack it up. Seems like a nice memory. Oh, putting stickers on your TV. Man. Oh. What was that? Oh, I can see outside. Anybody there? Sound like something knocked over. Um, I'm gonna get these and then I'm gonna go back to the drawer. That's I forgot it. Happy belated birthday. Sorry for the lateness, Tess Bear. Tessa Bear. Things get away from me, but uh away from me here, but you're always on my mind. We'll call you soon. Can't wait, Dad. So I'm guessing I'm a child of divorce. Possibly. I don't know. I'm presuming. Pack up my pins. I got a, a jackalope? Ah, Nevada. Home to all manner of folksy cryptids and cool dads. Let's look closer. Jackalope. A hare with horns. Well, that's essential. Work shirt. Where do I work? Guess I'll have to pack this after my next shift. I work in Video Galaxy. Oh man, I always wanted to work in a video shop. Oh, I wish I, I wish they still had like Blockbuster and stuff. That was awesome. 
It was a dream of mine to work in a video store. I didn't read that poster. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Oh, look at this. A dead eye pet. Oh, right. I was supposed to feed you. Poor little guy. No. Oh man. What were these called again? Tamagotchis, right? I loved the Tamagotchi. Pick up friendship bracelet. Fran. Fran is my friend. Pick up birthday card. Happy birthday, Teresa. It, it's always so much fun to have you visit. I can't wait till next time. I'm so proud of you, your business, and uh, the kind of woman you're becoming. My love, and August. That's it. That's it. Is that everything? That seems like everything. Let's check. Oh, wait a minute. Stuff in the closet. Yearbook. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Grammy says, stay in school, kids. Don't turn out like me. Oh, man. Francine was here. Hey, bestie, wanted to make sure you wouldn't miss this message. Now, anybody else who signs this will know I'm your bestie, not them. Let's have a great summer this summer. Movie night every night, Francine. These seem like my kind of friends. Just hang around watching movies. I'm, an, I'm the first to sign your... Craig. <laughs> Jason. Class of 2003. Next year, we rule the school. Allison. See you next year. Have an awesome summer. Brooke. Extra, extra, read all about it. It was awesome working with you on the newspaper this year. See you in the funny pages, Brian. Awesome, is there anything, anything else in this? Nope, that's it. Can I switch that? Nope. Right, that's gotta be it, right? Close enough? Hmm, wait a minute. There's gotta be something else. It's saying close enough. Oh, there we go. Pick up pen from work. Nice, nice. And I can't remember. I remember a hippo. Maybe it looks like another um, Barney or something. Maybe. <laughs> nice. Okay. I think that's it. Oh, Mr. Bun. Can't forget Mr. Bun. I almost went out there without without Mr. Bun. Nightmare. René Marguerite, Marguerite La Grande Famille. A large family. 963. Right. Tell me that's it now. That's gotta be it. Hmm. I think that's it. I can't see anything else. That's I'm really, really blind right now. Nah, let's go. Let's go Dad? to another room. Yeah? Come down to the basement. There's something I want to show you. The basement? What is it? Oh. It's nothing really. Remember, uh. This? Gah! I love it. I hate it. What is it? I'm gonna say I love it. Because I do. It looks cool. <laughs> I love it. Where did this masterpiece come from? <laughs> Your Aunt August made it when she was a kid. It's Lady, the dog we had when we were growing up. And Aunt August isn't a rich and famous artist now? <laughs> well, she is one of those things. Not a famous artist, though. 
We've still got a little while before we actually move out, right? Like, a week? Yeah, about. The estate sale was... weird. Having all those people in the house, picking through Grandma's stuff. I'm glad it's over. <sighs> yeah, me too. Are you okay? Mom... I just... We took care of your grandmother right up to the end, and... And now they're selling the house out from under us. I know. Wanna just... Take a minute and look around and see what's left? I haven't really gone through everything since the sale ended. Yeah, me neither. That sounds really nice. Just looking through what's still here. Mm. Aside from this hell picture... <laughs> Amazing that no one bought it, right? Just shocking. <laughs> uh, so you're all packed up, right? Good to go? Uh, oh my god. Uh, Just remember that it needs to be done by Wednesday so we can get everything out of here on time. I know. This is, get this is getting emotional already. So many feelings. Uh, yeah, it's interesting that they don't have the uh, mouth movements. Most of Grandma's Helen's stuff was sold off in the estate sale. I haven't really had a chance to look around and see what's left until now. All right, all right, all right. Well, let's have a look. Can we pack this? Nothing on the back? No, nah, nothing on the back. That is... A beautiful dog. Maybe we should check on on our own dog. Let's check a uh, Nooka cam. What's going on with Nooka? Oh, she's moved. <laughs> she's fallen. Let's uh, let's move her head down there. There we go. There she is. She's so sleepy today. We're both sleepy. What an adorable dog. Flip. So lucky to have this dog. He's a cutie. Okay. Let's carry on. Pick up brush. Can I do anything with this brush? No. Pick up dustpan. Can't do anything with this dustpan at all. Anything interesting? Ooh, fedora. Now it really is. Ooh, so naughty. dapper. Was this grandpa's? Do you remember when everybody used to wear fedoras? In the noughties? You know, like Justin Timberlake and stuff like that. Just walking around with fedoras on. It's the 1920s or something. Oh, what is this? Dear Millie. Millie Calder. Maxims, axioms, and more from the sage of the Midwest. No one gives advice like Millie. Life magazine. With her wit, wisdom, and in ineffable tact, dear Millie has been charming readers for 15 or over 15 years. Found in newspapers nationwide, Millie doles out sage advice to over five million readers weekly gathered here for the first time are some of the most engaging responses from the sage of the midwest on matters of home parenting and romance there's never been a question that millie can't handle hey mom grandma's advice column was popular wasn't it for a little while yeah i felt really lucky that i got to ask her for advice face to face i remember when we went to that one book signing when i was a little kid you remember that? Yeah. I mean, people in the audience seemed so excited and nervous to get to ask her their questions right there in person. Sometimes when I'd ask Grandma for advice, she'd start off with, don't tell Millie, but... I think she saved her special advice for me. Well, she could have given some advice to herself and realized that taking out three mortgages on her house wasn't such a good idea. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not such a good idea. 
Seems like an inter interesting family. Got a lot to do with um, writing. Be a creative family. Let's play about with these fuses, why don't we? What's the worst that can happen? Looks like we can't anyway. Sensitivity on this is really high. Oh, look at this. Man, do you remember having to buy calculators at this time? I do love a calculator. Pick up the melon. There's nothing we could do. So I'm guessing there's nothing I can really do with this stuff here. Pen holder. Sure is. Oh, ID. Could this be Grandpa? Yeah, maybe. 1966. Keene County, Michigan. Employee's identification card. Leonard Lambros. Property inspector. Hmm. Can I, uh, look at the other side? No. Grandpa Leo was a... an inspector for the county. What's that mean? He inspected things for the county. Oh, <laughs> great, Mom. Thanks. <laughs> Commercial buildings, mostly. When we were driving around town, he'd point out the ones he'd inspected. I remember he was very proud of inspecting the department store. You know, the big one on Old Main Street. Every foot of electrical, fire sprinklers, alarm system, everything. He'd say he was the only thing keeping half the buildings in town from burning down. Electrical fires are no joke. Yeah, they're no joke. File box. Boiler. Boiler switch. Paint. Ooh, what's this? Whipped out article. Oh, it's my grandpa, Leo Lambrus, age 43 years of Orange Street, Greenville. Uh, died July 28th, 1968. So it's two years after that ID. Alex at Alexandria Regional Hospital. He was a veteran of the Second World War, serving as a surveyor with the 173rd Field Artillery, Artill oh my goodness, Artillery Battalion. Scouting out every uh, enemy positions from the front lines, late, he later worked for Geen County as a building inspector. I just found that out. Surviving are his wife, Helen Lambros, and his daughters, Opal and August Lambros. Funeral arrangements uh, under the direction of Milton Family Funeral Home. F I don't even know how to say that. Fun <laughs> I incomplete. Okay. I think we've, uh, we've searched everything here. I'm guessing. Back upstairs or anything here? No, I think that was it. Whoa. It's the uh, basement door. I always was fascinated by these because we don't have these sort of doors in the to the basement in the UK. The sort of basement doors that go straight to the outside. Wow, nice kitchen. Nice decor. Look at that wallpaper. It's delightful. Pick up a bucket. Nothing's in the bucket. Why did I think there was going to be something in the bucket? Pick up a coffee pot. Nothing in the coffee pot. Right, these are the things. I'm going to focus on things like this. I we think. did our best, but the results were... What did we make? Uh, what's that? What does that say? That I had you there uh, to surprise my baking skills. Ah, uh, supervise my baking skills. Okay. Man, that was a uh, tricky rain. It's in the freezer. 
Nothing in the freezer. What's in the fridge? Being nice. Peanut butter. Can of pop. Can I shake this up? And shake it up. Put it back. Who are invitation. these people? Mom's friends? Is that Dorothy Jean Haverman and Nathaniel Edgar Borges or Barges? Let's read it like this. Borges. Uh, invite you to share in the joy of their wedding celebration on Saturday, the 9th of June, 2002, at 1 o'clock in the afternoon at St. Mark's Church. Hmm. Let's go. I've got to my... take more pics with Francine this year. We're so cute. Maybe I should start carrying a camera around. Hmm. Carrying a camera around. Because people didn't really have uh, cameras on their phones at that time, right? I'm trying to remember when. It was like 2008. Where people started getting sort of camera phones more, maybe. I don't know. 2002. Well, you look like a cute pair of buddies right there. Nothing in the cupboards. Nothing. I'm guessing we can move on. Nothing there. Nope. Except the weird cat statue thing. Cup. Box car. Will I need that? Nope. Don't run around with knives. Wow, was this... Was this taken right here? Cool. That's Grandpa? Mm-hmm. Probably only a year before he died. Of a heart attack? Yeah, very sudden. But I guess that's how heart attacks are. Man, that's sad. Let's put look closer at that. Oh, look at that hairstyle. Military hairstyle. It's very adorable. Is it Fankuchen? Is that right? I'm trying to remember the the, the little German I did in school. Fan Fankuchen or Fankuchen. Means pancake. That I recognize that word now. Then yeah, pancakes would be lovely right now. Is that it? I think that's it. Sandals. Oh, stuff things. Ugh, mom. Please quit already. Oh, Mom. 14 Class A cigarettes. Extra mild. Dustbuster. I feel like I want to use these items on things. Rather than just be able... It's interesting that they allow you to pick all these things up. Like, I can pick up the Dustbuster. But I can't pick up the, uh, the kitchen roll. That's me and Pops. Leans Creek. No dice. I guess we didn't um we didn't catch anything. Or find anything, I guess. Oh, how did this end up down here? Huh. Must have been in a drawer of something that got sold. This is from one of the first digs Dad and I went on. Oh. <sighs> It was kind of adorable how excited you both got about going on those digs. I remember being so sure that we would actually find bootlegger gold. Or at least a clue about it. <laughs> Your dad. <sighs> well, at the very least, he certainly had a way of firing up your imagination. I'll give him that. So cute. That's adorable. That they went out looking for treasure. Oh man. Well, 
I have a feeling that this is going to be all about sort of like family secrets and things like that. Who's this? Did Grandma start dressing like this after you moved out of the house? Mm-hmm. After my father passed, my mother, well... <laughs> turned into a hippie. A bit of a free spirit, let's say. Doesn't look like that rubbed off on August much. I think it might have. To push her in the opposite direction. Hmm. Oh, did, did I look at the other side? Ah, you can't flip it over. That's fine. Grandma's looking good. Looking good. It always, um... I don't know if you've ever experienced, like, ever gone through old family photos. I've had to do that quite recently because I'm digitizing all our old, um... Like, VHS footage and, and things like that. Photos and stuff. Um... But yeah, it's interesting seeing, like your relatives and like I have pictures of my grandmother when she was really young and uh, I always remembered my grandmother as being sort of old and then you <laughs> when she died I inherited loads of pictures of her and you look at them and she's like you know uh, like a teenager hanging around boys and things like that I love it it's interesting standard mug much uh, mug stein so pottery I'm guessing is what one of the businesses or maybe yeah I'm guessing it is a business that they have is this some of the last pottery your grandmother made yep after her fine motor skills started to go hmm still kind of beautiful yeah I think so it's still kind of beautiful I miss her a lot yeah me too hmm yeah I mean it went wrong but maybe it's a happy accident in the end you know it's something I've never really done much is is pottery something I'd like to do at some point Ooh, this is getting really stuttery for some reason that's it can I go out back nope but it seems like a very nice neighborhood Where next? Well, I've been that way. I guess we have to go upstairs. Ooh. <laughs> oh, hey. It's August. It's a knocky oh. uh, so. Exhausted. The state sale was a lot. But... <laughs> that's easy for you to say. Yeah, I remember. And the answer is still no. I... Well... The what? Oh, right. Right. Sorry, it hasn't exactly been at the front of my mind. Yeah, it's around here, somewhere. No, it's fine. Okay. Love you. Bye. Unbelievable. What did she say? Nothing helpful. Is she still not going to help us with the house? No. She was just calling to ask me to find some book of hers. Any idea where it could be? It must be upstairs somewhere, in your grandma's things. It has a red and black cover, white block lettering. I'll know it when I see it. Okay, let's go. Black and white cover. Okay. And August called mom to uh, looking for some book that's important to her for some reason apparently. It's probably somewhere upstairs. Let's do it. Let's search for this book. I really uh had a um yeah, legendary tune. The old Nokia Nokia? Nokia ringtone. 
By the way, I don't think there's any run function on this either. Um, that's why I'm walking around really slowly. Ooh. Hey, Ma! Actually, maybe I should just put this back. Mm, Opal, sorry to hear that... Um, I'm going to read it like this. Opal, sorry to hear that Mom's doing worse. I've been thinking about her a lot lately. I know this is a sore spot, so it's the last time I'll bring it up. I really wish you'd let me help with Mom's medical bills. I get that you'd rather have me there in person to help, but I just can't get away from work long enough to make that happen. I'm sorry that money is the only thing I could provide right now, but that's just the situation we're in. If you're stressed about everything you have to do, you can always send Tess down here for a weekend again. I love having her around. Call me if there's anything new with Mom. Love, August. Is this the book here? Playbill. I am the very model of a modern major general. I la 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 da 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 mineral. <laughs> Pirates of Penzance. Classic. Book lyrics by Sir William S. Gilbert. Music by Sir Arthur Sullivan. Andromeda Theatre. So that's the theatre that my mother works at? Is that right? Nope, nothing in there. Nothing in here. We're doing some good old draw searching right now. Always a lovely thing to do in a video game. Explore every draw. Anything? Pillow. Ooh. Hook pole. What's this? Oh, it's a hook pole thing to pull down the hatch to the attic. Could August's book be up in the attic? With Grandma's things? Could be. All right. We can go up there, but... You go first. I'm scaled. I found a weird book. Pole thing. Hook pole thing, not book hole thing. Pole thing. What the heck do you call these things anyway? Well, at any rate, I should be able to use this to pull down the steps to the attic. Nice. Let's explore the attic. Any secrets here? Hmm. What's it say there? Oh, there we go. Is that uh, something Royale National? Is it Lake? Royale National Park, Michigan. Cool. That's the attic. Why not? Yeah, the creepy, creepy attic. Oh, another room. Appetizer. That's some good balancing right there. See, I can put the ashtray upside down. Now the cigarettes pull out. Put this fan on? Nope. Alrighty. Nice hoover. Hmm. There's gotta be something here. Just appetizer magazine. I love these cabinets. Classic 70s style cabinets. So this is probably, I'm guessing, where my grandmother was staying when she's oh. staying with us guess we can get rid of these hmm that's sad I have no idea what medication that is <laughs> don't know why I'm looking as if I'm an authority on medication yeah if this game did have a running function, it, <laughs> maybe more horror styly. Where is this attic? Ah, there it is. No, still no run. Let's do this. 
Okay, come on up. <coughs> Ooh. Damn, it's dusty. Now, where's that book? What are these? I have no idea. I have not a clue. A lot of appetizer magazine hanging around here. Plus T, plus T. Ooh, watch out. Watch out. There we go. Anything. Sold only at Charlie's 2700 Washington Boulevard, Detroit, Michigan. 48226 store in a dry place. Oh, bowling trophy. Who is it for? Can't see. It's no name on it. Oh, Grandpa Leo was a bowler? He and Dad have that in common. What do you mean? Dad loves bowling? No, he doesn't. But he's always wearing those bowling shirts. Didn't he used to be in a league or something? <sighs> Honey, he just thinks those shirts make him look hip. Bowling shirts? Uh, He's right. I, I do like a bowling shirt. He's right. They are hip. He's right. They are hip. Hip and cool like, um, like a guy in a ska band would wear or something. Damn ska? Right. It's, um... It's, it's great music. Okay, mum? It's great music. It's, the, it's this music that cool kids at school like. It's, well, on second thought, maybe it's not cool. <laughs> You know what? Well, forget it. I can say it's cool. I do like ska music. It's this music that cool kids at school like. It has like trumpets and stuff in it. And the guys wear fedoras and sunglasses and dress shoes and stuff. And I, I, I think like bowling shirts. Like dad. Ska is cool like dad. I see. Anything else? Nope. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe not the fedoras. The fedoras may not have been a cool choice, but yeah, bowling shirts. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we get a jump scare now. With grandma, just gonna ghost of grandma is gonna pop out any second. Yeah, imagine suddenly hearing random whispers in the attic. That's always a uh, a fear of mine. <laughs> Nice guitar. Looks a little bit like my guitar. Ooh, What's books. under here? Uh, here, let me grab that. I'll put it up here to look through. Hmm. Yeah, there's a bunch of old stuff in here. But, uh... Mom? Hold on, it Ooh. might still oh, be no. here somewhere. <laughs> there's something... Ah, here it is. Maybe if your dad had read this... He wouldn't have stopped working at the video store. Mom! What's in there? Uh-oh. Let's hope it's, uh... <laughs> not something horrible. And something very nice to look at. Okay, forget about August book. We found a weird suitcase in the secret compartment in the attic. Did Grandma Helen hide it there? Why? The answers may lie within. Okay, let's open this weird box. A uh, weird suitcase, I should say. Is it still in there? I can't see. Can I take it out? Oh, there it is. I'm going to check these books first. Um, finally, the advice of the sage. Uh, the Midwest, all in one place. Just my two cents. Oh, it's to August. August, my beautiful daughter. If this book can teach you even a fraction of what you, you've taught me, I'll know that I've succeeded. Always yours, Mother. Very nice. Alright, let's, uh, let's check this out. Hopefully no bodies in there. That is adorable. It's like the nuclear family. Uh, 
very cute. Hey, Mom. Ah, this is just some junk from the old summer house. Your family had a summer house? Well, it was more of a cottage, I guess. We spent the summers up there for a long time. And you've never taken me to visit? Well, I haven't been there since I was your age. We just stopped going one summer. The summer after my dad died. I think there were just too many memories there. Oh my god. What? Aren't you seeing it? Seeing what? Right here! Behind them? That's a freshly covered hole! Uh-huh. It's obviously the location of the buried bootlegger Gold! <sighs> in our backyard, you mean? Indubitably. Lady probably buried a bone in there. Dogs don't really do that. Only cartoon dogs do that. Only cartoon dogs bury bones, but real-life bootleggers bury gold in people's backyards? In 1968? It was oh, a different yeah. time, Mother. Sure. This is getting exciting. Let's check it out again. Yeah, look at that. Fresh, freshly dug hole. Hmm. Let's move the sheet. <gasps> Loads of stuff. Oh, look at this. Nixon badge. They voted Nixon. Crazy. Rocks of colorful variety. Weird little rocks. Homemade marbles. Imitation jawbreakers. Very abstract, a very abstract model solar system. Uh, let's try homemade marbles. Homemade marbles? Ah, these little stones were from the stream near the summer house. You painted them? Me in August. The rocks from the stream were so smooth, but I forget why we painted them. <laughs> you were really that bored, huh? There weren't many TV channels back then. Mm, tragic. Yeah, I guess for me, there was four, four TV channels in this country back then. Yeah, watch uh, gra <laughs> turning around and seeing Grandma dancing Fortnite style. That would be uh, a, a nice comedy beat. For fishing? I'm guessing it's for fishing. Or is it just like a thing they made? I don't know. Let's see this. Who's this? Cool van, funky van, hip van, groovy van. Groovy van. <laughs> I did love that van. The engine died for good while we were visiting the summer home, and so I just turned it into my bedroom after that. <laughs> you slept in a broken down van? Well, the summer house was small, and I always had to share a bedroom with August. When I realized I could have my own space just by sleeping out in the van, it was a no-brainer. Did you, like, redo it to be like a bedroom inside? Yeah. Your grandfather pulled the seats out for me, and I set up a little bed frame with a mattress and all sorts of posters and pillows and shelves and things like that. <laughs> wow, that's actually cool. Mm. Could I do that? With our car? No! Yeah, there might have been a reason for them doing that. But that's really cool. Look at my mum. Looking awesome. The sunglasses look pretty cool as well. Nice. Grandma's sunglasses? Vintage. Oh, yeah. I, get, I, I would like them. Can I keep them? You think they're your style? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Just be careful with them. I'll guard them with my life. Nice. Can I wear them? Clipped out article. Another burglary last night in what state police are investigating as a series of crimes carried out by a single organized group. Once again, there were no signs of false entry. Nearly all the valuable jewelry was taken. Over 100,000 worth of merchandise. I'm guessing that's not the one I'm meant to be reading. Dear Millie, recently a close personal friend of mine uh, confided in me that she's having an affair 
with her husband. I love them both dearly, and I'm not sure if it's better to let the husband know or keep the wife secret. Doubtful in Duluth. Ooh, how's this? Why is this being kept, do you think? Dear Doubtful, situations like these are pain, painful for everyone involved. There's never an easy out. Keep in mind that this is her secret to keep and not yours. Keep your loyalties where they lie. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Why isn't this working? Ah, there we go. The plot thickens. Ooh, dinosaur. Dinosaur pack. That's a feature in the States somewhere, right? I forget where it is. We'll be together soon. I love you, and we're going to love our new life together. Free and happy. <laughs> well... Whoever this guy was, it sure seems like he and Grandma had something pretty intense going on. Was Grandma Helen... In some kind of secret relationship? Maybe. Maybe that's what was happening. Because Grandma did the, uh, the column, right? I think. So maybe it was her friend writing into the column and saying... Right, and they're basically talking about her... Possibly. Hmm. Maybe in some kind of secret relationship. In some relationship. kind of secret relationship? No! Not the Helen I knew. <gasps> Intrigue! Grandma, what were you up to? Hmm. Yeah. Why is this? Uh, recently, oh, now these a character pull it together. Dear Mift, oh, this is like some of her drafts. I'm guessing. Recently, one of my daughters gave me a tremendous shock. She's married, apparently. Her colleague, Bo, and her colleague Bo and her tied the knot without my knowledge. She claims that they wanted to skip the wedding to save for a house, but I'm very hurt by her exclusion. She knows that I have dreamed of a big wedding for a long time. How can I convince her that a marriage founded in secrecy will never last? Miffed mother-in-law. So this is... drafts, I think. Well, it can be hard, hard to see a child something makes such a foolish foolish mistake too harsh rewrite uh, okay then so she did think about what she was saying i guess <laughs> grandma's diary should we oh i don't think we should really oh grandma yeah. wouldn't have cared I'm dead. What difference does it make to me? I can hear her saying it now. Let's just peek it. Let's have a look. Oh, it's getting crazy. 1968. What was Grandma doing in 1968? There we go. I cannot read that at all, so I'm going to do this. Aren't any help. They think they are being good neighbors, but if anyone should know where the path of good inten intentions leads, it's these church ladies. The children carry on best they can. Opal is caught up in her own teenage dramas as usual. Almost as if it were any normal summer. August does worry me a bit. She's becoming caught more and more in her imagination. I wish I could help her. But it's so, there is so much I can't say. It's becoming a challenge keeping my correspondence with some, 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 some XXX concealed 
it's only a matter of time till we're together again in person. But to hold it all inside, not to tell a soul, it's almost too much. But he knows, and I know, soon enough, the waiting will be over, and this will all be in the rear view. On the postcard, Libertyville, Michigan, United States, Washington, five cents, how divine. Space for writing messages. Forget about the past. Leo's dead. All that matters now is our future together. <gasps> Grandma. Grandma, what were you up to? Oh, this is getting interesting. Forget yeah, about the past. Leo's dead. So Leo was the husband. Hmm. What's next? <gasps> Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> what is this? What is this? That's what so, I said. So, Grandma and this guy were definitely together before Grandpa died? And they were gonna run away together? You never heard about this? No, this is... A and what is this key to? Why is it hidden in here? Something at the summer home, I assume. I okay, well, now we've got to go check the old place out. To find out who this mystery man was. Yeah, rather than find a bootleg gold, I, I really want to know who this person is. To find out who this mystery man was. Don't you want to know? I don't know, Tess. I, we still have so much to do around here. Come on. It'll be fun. An adventure. I still need to call Tina at the theater and finish cleaning out the fridge. Come on. We never get to do stuff together. You spend all your time at the theater, and I spend all my time in school. When when was the last time we were able to do something? To talk? Well... You do want to know, don't you? I can see it, Mom. I can see it in your face. <sighs> oh, God. You know, a little change of scenery would be nice. Ha, that's the spirit. We could spare a weekend before we have to move for a little road trip, right? To tie up some loose ends. Right. Yeah. And some of those little towns along the way are great for antiquing. Yeah, sure. All right, it's a deal. Let's hit Let's the road it. and see what we find. Yeah. We could really use a break from all this, even if it's just for a weekend. Let's do it. Pack your overnight bag. Yes! Get out of here. Bring your homework. I don't need you falling behind at school. What about August's book? We can FedEx it to her when we get back. Okay. A road trip! This is gonna be great. Nice. Let's do it. Oh, I'm loving this. It's all starting to kick off now. Bit of a slow start, but yeah. We're getting there. Things are starting to uh, get mysterious. Uh, we're on the road to the secret summer home to find out what's the deal with Grandma Helen's mystery man. Who knows what we might find. It'll be a while before we get there, though. Awesome. Hey, Sean. Thanks for coming. Uh, don't worry about missing uh, some of the stream. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put all of these streams up. I'm not gonna um, uh, delete them or, or anything at all. So. As soon as this stream finishes, it should be up on, on YouTube for all time. Hey, Mom. Uh, let's poke the air freshener. Ter what was that? Terrence Auto Parts? Is that what that said? Terrence Auto Parts. You'll be something, something, something. Quick and stop. I just saw a mobile phone there, or a flip phone, a flip phone, flip. Um, what have we bought here? Try mint gum, single pack. Judy's chips. Cherry fizz. Citruser. Cat. Oh, we have a dog moving. Hold on. She's up and about. Let's see. There she is. 
She's getting some water. She's drinking from a bowl right now. But she'll she'll sit down in a second. <laughs> She's just taking up the whole screen. Oh man, that's a big drinky there, Nookie. Thirsty lady. How you do it? There she goes. Back to bed. <laughs> a little shaky. Oh, I love this camera. It's awesome. <laughs> there she is. Time to cozy down. Let's get snuggly. Oh, yeah. There you go, Nookie. Oh, you're so sweet. Anyway, let's get back to it. Let's get back to the game. Sunglasses. Oh, what's this? Pick up car registration. Registration certificate. Uh, anything interesting here that we should know about? I don't think so. Let's see, night, uh, night, night two model. There. Nah. I just want to look at this. Oh, <laughs> oh man, text Francine or oh, text Dad. Let's text them both. Why not, eh? Wait a minute. How? What's my contract like? That is it. A contract? Is it pay as you go? Hmm. How much does a, a text cost? <laughs> Hi, Dad. Text me back when you're around. Okay. Let's text Francine as well. Why not? Hey, Frankie. Guess where I am? See, now. I would not have, back in the day, at this time, with a mobile phone, send a message in parts as if like we do this day on, on like things like WhatsApp or whatever, Messenger, things like that, you would compose the whole thing as if it was like, uh, I don't know, you're writing a letter, I guess, because it, it used to cost money. Each message would cost money, um, depending, I guess, maybe on your, your contract or something. But I just remember I would be very careful in, in writing a message and try and get all the information in one because even if you went like to two pages or whatever it, uh, in your message or you went over the word limit and that's sending two messages which is double the cost so you really had to think about it oh we got a message from Francine where? in the car with my mom yeah and? Why would you text me about that? <laughs> because we're on a road trip. Yeah, MMS. That's the word I was thinking of. Uh, was this planned or not till this morning? Laugh out loud. Where are you going? We found this weird stuff in my grandma's attic and now we're going to my family's old summer house. You have a summer house now. I know. My, my mom never told me about it before. No one's been there for like 30 years. I'm hoping it's either cool or haunted. Ooh. Why not both? You know what? You're right. I'll text you tonight if we find anything cool. Or haunted. Did you tell your, uh, your mom about the, the plane ticket? Nope. Tess. Whoops. You have to. Okay, have a safe trip, nerd. Thanks, Francine. Fill me with confidence. Directions. Okay. Oh, I remember doing this as well. Printing out directions. Oh, <laughs> so much nostalgia. Is that going south? It's, uh, on 
East Elm Street towards Main Street, turn right, Mid Street, turn slightly left. I'm, I don't think I have to remember this. And we end up at Pancake, uh, Missouri, right? Anything else I can mess with? The gear stick? Or air conditioning? No. Let's turn on the radio. Is it okay if I turn on the radio? I don't know how much signal we'll get, but yeah, sure. Um, okay. Turn the radio on. Let's keep going. Is this all, all we have? Ah, right. There's something in the settings I had to do, uh, which was turn off um, copyrighted music, because obviously I can't do that on the YouTubes. Oh, the radio station went away. Yeah, we're pretty far out here. Maybe I'll see if I can find anything else. Yeah. So, yeah, so maybe that's why the music is... Uh, not so interesting on the radio. Oh, oh, oh. We have something then. Nope. It, okay, I'm going to leave it for now. Oh, backpack. What are you doing back there? Are you going to do your homework? No. <coughs> Reading Excuse in the me. car makes me car sick. Then what are you messing Ooh. with back there? I don't know. So stop it. It's not safe. Pardon me. Sniffy. Anything else? No. Okay. Hey, Mom. When did you say the last time you were at this summer house was? Oh. When I was, I guess, 15? Your age? I'm 16. I meant about your age. <laughs> so a long time ago. So a super long time ago. Uh, okay, so a long time. So a long time ago. Wow. No one's been there since, like, the 19th century. Ha <laughs> ha. What was the Industrial Thank Revolution you. like? Thank you for the blessings. <laughs> Tess, I wouldn't know. Did you ever meet Galileo? <laughs> Jesus, how old do you think I am? I mean, I'm just estimating. It, it's a rough estimate. It's a rough estimate. <laughs> I'll say. It was the 60s, I think, summer of 68. 1968. So, like, 35 years ago? And you say you're bad at math. What was it like? The summer house? And the dark ages, but yeah, the summer house. Ooh, nasty. <laughs> I just always really liked it there. It was an escape. From what? Everything, I guess. School, town, same old. Every day just felt like it was ours when we were there. So why did you stop going? Yeah, let's, let's say, so why did you, rather than think about why did we not go, let's constrain why So why did she you stop go. going? Oh, um, yeah, we stopped going as a family when I was your age, and then I went off to college, and then married your father. Did Dad even know about this place? I can't imagine Dad passing up a free summer home where he could just hang out and do nothing all day. So you're saying your father is lazy? I was riding dinosaurs to school. I love that one. <laughs> your mama's so old. Um, no, dad's a hard worker. He's a man of leisure. No, he's a hard worker, I'm going to say. No, dad's a hard worker. <laughs> okay. He'd work late at the video store all the time. He'd be there with the closing shift watching movies on the store monitors. <laughs> You've got to have something on for the customers. Closing is a pain in the butt. And he'd manage the schedules and store finances. 
He even made the window displays. Fine, those were pretty cool. No. I mean, I guess there is a real reason I never told your father about the old summer place. Because I knew he would never have put in the work to actually fix it up so we could use it. It needed a lot of work? Well, not last I saw it, but being unoccupied for decades out there in the middle of nowhere? It's got to be falling apart. Hmm. It could still be in good shape. Let's be positive. It could still be in good shape. Maybe somebody's been, you know, keeping it up. <laughs> you hope squatters have been living in it? No, like, you know, like shoe elves. Shoe elves. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'd, it'd be nice if it were magically still in good shape, considering we need a new place to live. To live in? Tess, I, I'm sorry, it's... You couldn't live there, and not, not year-round. Why not? Well, it doesn't have central heat, or even really insulation. It's a summer home, not a winter home. That makes sense. It's better than not having a home at all, isn't it? Hmm, fine, then where are we going to live? So we haven't got a place to go. Let's well, do that one. it's better than not having a home at all, isn't it? Okay, you know, we're not going to be homeless. But we're getting kicked out of Grandma Helen's house. We don't have anywhere else to live. We'll find a place. What kind of place? I don't know yet. We're going to be living in this car, aren't we? No. Just like when you lived in that van. We can find an apartment. How are you even going to pay for an apartment? The theater company, uh, you know. I thought you said it was underwater. Well, you know, it's not doing great, but... Mom. What? When are you going to give up on the theater? Ah, oh, this is a tricky one. I can really relate to this. Um, because I'm in a, I work in this, this little film industry, and the film industry at the moment is uh, not not great not great at the moment so like it's very tricky to to sort of make money in the arts these days it seems so i can really relate to that um because you don't want to give it up and it's not like you know running a theater is probably not going to make you a lot of money but it's what you love doing so you have this push and pull all the time, like, should I be doing things to make money or should I, you know, be doing things so I can be fulfilled that artistically. But yeah, it's uh, it's always, always a nightmare. This is why, you know, there needs to be more money in the, the arts. Um, or, you know, make make a world a place where we don't have to you know, choose between money and, and creativity. They could be two separate things. But anyway, I'm going to get off my my high horse now. That was my two cents. Um, okay, when are you going to give up the theatre? We need money, I guess. We need money. Believe me, Tess, I know. If Dad was still here. Excuse me? He, he could help pay for things if your father and I were still together we wouldn't be in this situation in the first place well have you asked dad if he could send back some money to help absolutely not <laughs> he, he doesn't have the money but dad moved out west for work <laughs> well, don't laugh at me I'm not I'm not it's just work sure it, it wasn't for work then, then what was it then uh oh i think i deserve to know if he hasn't told you his side of the story i'm not going to step in and take that responsibility for him like i always did your father left me in a hell of a situation we made all these decisions together do you not understand that we made decisions that depended on us both you know sticking around I didn't plan for any of this. 
You idealize your father, you know that? And I just don't really want to talk about it right now. Fine. Let's never talk about it. Let's never talk about anything important. Hmm. Yeah, what did Dad do? Oh. Oh dear. It's all coming out. But yeah, it's difficult. Like like you said, Cinnabank. It's difficult when you have to decide between passion and, and money. Hmm. Yeah. It's uh it's something I I feel like I've talked about quite a lot on this channel. Because it's just so prominent in in any sort of creative's life where you're there's times where you, if you're a creative and uh, you you know you can you only want to do one thing, which is create something. You know, create whatever you want. In my case, it's you know, film, uh, video games at the moment as well. Uh, you have you always have that moment where you're like, God, I wish I could just. I didn't have this want to do things. <laughs> I didn't have this want, and I could do something else and be happy. And that's where you're like, oh, is this a curse? Having <laughs> a creative sort of need or, or not? Yeah. It's something that would be cool to talk about at some point on the channel, possibly. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I heard my phone buzz glove compartment. That's probably my dad, I'm guessing. But yeah, what did, what did dad do? Maybe an affair, possibly. Maybe didn't want to commit to something. I don't know. Maybe he's not growing up. Hey, kiddo. Sorry I missed your message. I was in middle of a biz negotiation. What's up? Hey, Dad. What's up? Not much. I work right now, but good to hear from you. How's work going? Good, making money? Would you be able to send some money back to help me and Mum? Uh, I don't know if Mum told you, but we're moving out next week. I think it's going to be hard for Mum to pay the rent at the new place and uh, stuff like that. Do you think you could send some money back to help oh dad I'd love to kid but right now my liquid assets are all tied up in reinvesting at work if I send enough back that could help you worth a damn without it sinking my business out here you know I would but your mom's always been the smart one she'll figure things out don't worry okay you understand, right, Pumpkin? Yeah. Did you tell your mom you bought the tickets? Not yet. Me and mom actually on a road trip right now. We're investigating a family mystery and going to an old summer house. Can you believe it? Well, you need to tell her, kiddo, or else I will. And and you know she would be she would freak out a lot. Yeah, dad, was dad in the cult? Maybe. Maybe it's the uh, the blockbuster cult. Okay, okay, I promise I will, as soon as possible. I know you will. Love you. Actually, I have to get back to, to it right now. Treat your mom nice, okay? Love you. See you soon. Are you sending text messages to someone? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> to who? It's to whom, Mother? It was Dad. Hmm. Just getting his side of the story, huh? <clears throat> uh... No comment. It's all right. Having a common enemy can help bring people together. You're not my enemy. Or Dad's. Sometimes it feels that way. Well, it's not supposed to. It's getting awkward. This car journey's getting awkward.
What's going to happen next? What's this summer house going to be like? Oop. It's looking... Oh, it's the van. They still have the van there. <clears throat> Mom! My God. Are you okay? I just didn't think it would still be here. Um, Mom, it... Well, it is. <laughs> and it looks to be surprisingly well-preserved. It's... Well, it's not just like I remember it. <laughs> A little more... Run down. Run down? Weathered. Than the last time I was <clears throat> here. But I guess I am too. Want to start looking around? Yeah. Let's have a look around. This isn't exactly what I pictured when Mom said they had a summer home, but it's still pretty cool in a retro way. There's probably lots of cool stuff inside from when Mom was a teen, and hopefully some clues to the identity of Grandma Helen's mystery man. Ooh. I love this. I, I'm i sort of uh, surprised that 20... What are we? Let me do the maths. What are we at? 2003? 21 years ago? Um, you would just buy a summer house and just leave it. <laughs> Yeah, it is a very nice house. It's a fixer-upper, I guess. Fixer-upper indeed. Oh, I wish there was a run function on this. And this is like what? It looks like a... Kind of a Volkswagen camper type vehicle. I love. I love a Volkswagen camper. It's your groovy van. And it's locked. Gotta keep all the groovy stuff in there secure. Please tell me the keys are somewhere. I need to see what a lava lamp looks like after it just sits there mutating for 30 years. They might have been... Hmm. I can't remember. Don't do this to me, Mother. I have to see how much tie-dye is in there. Please. <laughs> oh, August was always trying to steal my keys so she could get in there and mess with my stuff. They're probably in her room. Oh, the little criminal! All right, I'm on the case. The groovy stuff is so close, I can taste it. <laughs> Some groovy. Groovy gravy. The van that Mum turned into her bedroom when she was a teen is still sitting here. But it's locked. She says the keys might be stashed in August's room. Let's go and check out August's room. But first of all... Um... This is, uh, I guess, I don't know if anybody's pl played Project Zomboid, the zombie game. This is the Project Zomboid, I guess, technique of you search around the house first to see if there's anything before going into the house. Check the perimeter. Anything there? Nope. Just pallets. This fence could be fixed. Dog house. This dog house lasted better than the uh, the actual house. I think that's it. Anything here? Nope, definitely not a run function. <laughs> Anyone here? Nope. Alright, let's go in. Let's see if we go in the back. We're going to make a, uh, find a bag made out of uh, weed. Yeah, like a, a hemp bag. <laughs> I think there's going to be... Um, there's going to be some like, records in there, I reckon. A record player. Maybe a... Uh... Ooh. Plants. Did you do these with Grandma? No, August did. I never had a green thumb. She loved helping my mother in the garden. Really? Why do you say it like that? I don't know. Can you picture August getting her hands dirty out in the garden now? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> but if my mother was ever out in the garden, she was out there with her, helping the best she could. I remember one year, maybe when she was six, she started crying so hard when it came time to pick the berries and vegetables. 
but the plants worked so hard growing them. You can't just take them. Aw, well now I feel bad for the plants. She was a sensitive kid. So am I. So what happened? Hmm? To August. She doesn't seem so sensitive now. Oh. Life happened, I guess. Oh. Life got to her. She turns from a sensitive kid to uh, maybe more cynical. What have they been growing? Yeah. What what was grandma growing, eh? Back in the day. Back in the 60s and 70s. Okay, let's go in. Yeah, I think, I think we can go in. Is this a... Uh... Is this a trailer home? It's a mobile home. What did I just say? They're not the same thing. A trailer home hooks up to the back of a truck and can be towed around. You can take it from place to place. A mobile home arrives on a trailer, like towed by a big truck. Go on. <sighs> a mobile home doesn't have wheels. Yeah. Well, why didn't you just say that? Well, I, I will admit, it took me a moment to untangle the nuances. Oh, look at that TV. Oh, man. Getting a uh, Fallout vibes. Hello, that's the dog. That's the dog from the painting, right? Is this, is, is this lady? There she is. Good girl. The resemblance to August drawing of her is uncanny. Oh, man, August did her dirty. It, it is pretty similar, to be honest. The resemblance to August's portrait of her is uncanny. Those vacant eyes, the unhinged jaw. August really captured her malevolence. Malevolence? <laughs> she looks like a sweet old dog, but it took August's artistic temperament to expose the darkness within. I love art. Very good. Very funny. Very droll. Very droll. Well, we've seen a dog, so that means we need to uh, uh, check on our own dog. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Oh, she might be... Oh, you see her nose twitching. She might be having a little dreamy. She's having a little dream, I think. Oh, that'd be exciting. If she starts having a dream, I'm going to change it. I'm going to jump to Nook at Cam. Oh, she eyes twitching. Yeah, she's having a little dream. I wonder if I can zoom in. Nope. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, there she goes. See, this is what I do for most of the day. <laughs> Just look at my dog. <laughs> she's very comfy. Oh, she's a little poor twitch. There we go. She's, she's going to have a dream any second now. Yeah, good angle. It's pretty much the same angle. Oh, she's dreaming. <laughs> oh, she's not having a, a what we call a woofy dream yet. So we'll go, we'll go back. We'll definitely cut back to her if she's having a big dream. A big woofy dream. Oh man, those roller skates. I used to have a pair in the 80s just like this, but they were blue. And they didn't have so much of a heel. These are definitely pre-80s roller skates. You used to roller skate? Mm-hmm. At the drive-in on Main Street. At the 
Wait, why would you be roller skating at- <gasps> Mom, were you a roller skating waitress at a drive-in restaurant? <laughs> when we were here for the summer, yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? Like in the movies? Like in the movies? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it seems silly now. I mean, it was silly, but I was glad to have the distraction. From what? Well, it was the first time we'd come back for the summer since my father died. Oh, yeah. I think... I don't know, I was probably kind of... depressed. It, it was good to be up and, and moving around and not just sulking. And bringing people burgers? On roller skates? In a little outfit? Oh yeah, the whole nine. Tell me there's a photo of this somewhere. <laughs> I... don't know. Maybe? Well, I've got a new objective. We actually? We actually got a new objective? Well, we gotta find some photos, right? It's possible there's a photo somewhere around here of Mum from when she was a teenage roller skating waitress. If that exists, then by God, I'm gonna find it. New Columbia. Look at this guy. He looks serious. 75 cents for this magazine, night 68. I don't even know what what it's about. Garden play. Very nice. 75 cents. The family garden. Very much a gardening family around here. Ooh, can we read what's in here? Oh, we can't look in it. Never mind. Maureen Hansen, her fabulous TV debut. Where's this from? 19 something? <laughs> July 21st to July 27th. I'm guessing this is 1967, 68, 66, 67, possibly. Magazines just strewn on the floor. Ooh, that looks promising. Could this be? Hmm. Okay, can I actually read this handwriting? Opal, I'm having so much fun. It's a total blast out here, really. You have to come. I know you go out to your little summer house uh, each year but with, with, with your family, but I really think you should consider working at the park with me next year. It's all people our age running the... I'm going to read it like this. It's all people our age running the rides and concessions and games. Plus, when the park closes, you can ride the rides as much as you want. As long as whoever's running it isn't a jerk. Promise you'll come with me next summer. How are things out in the sticks? Are you still working at the drive-in? If you don't have any luck with guys out there, wait till you come out here. The guys are unreal. I've seen stuff that you <laughs> that would make your hair curl. Say hi to your family from me. I'm going to write you every week, just like last year. So don't forget to write back. Your friend who is having lots of fun and wants you here desperately. Lori. Oh, wait a minute, there was a thing I could do there. Mom, you know what it sounds like. You had a Francine. <laughs> I guess I did. I've never heard of Lori before. Are you still in touch with her? It was short for Dolores. Maybe you've heard me talk about my old friend Dolores? No, I don't think so. Hmm. I mean, we haven't spoken in years. One of those friends you have in high school and then college happens and, you know... That's never going to happen with me and Francine. That'll probably happen with me and Francine. Mm. Let's be positive. The likelihood is, a lot of the time, those friends you have when you're younger, uh, you kind of, when you get older, drift a little. Because a lot of things, I guess. 
come into your life and you're not with each other every day and things like that. I still have best friends at my age that I've known all my life, but it's, it's quite rare, I think. That's never going to happen with me and Francine. That's nah. never going to happen with me and Francine. We'll still be friends when I'm as old as you. A very long time from now. Like, so long from now. Wait, you're not implying I'm old? No, of course not. But God, it's going to be a long time from now. <laughs> That's cheeky. She's a cheeky lady. Okay. Cup of tea, anyone? It's a big moose. Big moose. These have seen better days. These have seen better days. Yeah, it's a shame they've gotten so moth-eaten. Yeah, this taxidermy must have been beautiful when it was new. I meant when they were alive. I'll do, I'll do that. I meant when they were alive. Right. I think hunting is really rude. Like, leave the poor animals alone. You know, people have been hunting animals since we lived in caves. Right. Before there were supermarkets. Or shotguns. Hunt like a caveman, and maybe I'll give you a pass. Did Grandpa shoot these? Mm-hmm. Well, the pheasant. I shot the deer. Mom, that's... That's kind of awesome. That's messed up. Hmm. I don't know whether it's being uh, disgusted or impressed. I mean... Hunting's something I'm not interested in, in doing myself at all. But I guess for this character, she'd probably be, I guess, impressed. Something they weren't expecting from her mother. Mom! That's... That's kind of awesome. I mean, as noted, hunting in general is rude and unnecessary. But still, it's kind of badass. You were my age when you shot it? Younger. <laughs> Our father took us hunting during the summers when we'd stay out here. Well, mostly just me. I always did all right with hunting. I could kind of, uh, what's the word? Compartmentalize it. Mm. I don't think August could, though. I only saw her fire a gun once. A little twenty-two hunting rifle. She didn't want to, but my dad wouldn't let her give up. He said we weren't heading back until August took her shot. So she aimed and fired and missed. The deer ran off, and August cried all the way home. Oh, bless. That was August's first and last hunting trip. Our father didn't have much patience for that kind of, uh... He had a real thing for, you know, not letting your emotions get in the way. Hmm. Maybe it's good to let your emotions get in the way sometimes. Maybe they're trying to tell you something. Hmm. Seems like August was somebody who was more. I mean, we haven't met August. I don't. Know th I don't think we will. But um, it seems like they used to be quite sensitive, but um, changed. Nine sixty eight TV set buyer's guide. Alrighty. Anything here? Anything there? Nope, nope, nope. This game reminds me of... I, I might be similar developers. Ooh, key. Uh, Gone Home. If anybody's played that. Ooh, a little tiny key. What do you think it's for? Probably unlocking something. Ugh, maybe a desk drawer? Maybe. Found a little key. I wonder what it unlocks. Let's find out what it unlocks. You're invited. August 18th. 7. Cindy and Marks? Yeah, Cindy and Marks. Alright. I'll be there. Let's flip this over. Canada. Greens from Canada. I know I'm running from something, but I have never felt so free. I just crossed the border 
and I'm writing you from the desk in a room at a motel that's hidden off a little side road far from the main thoroughway. There's more driving to do before I find us a little place to settle down. Ooh, is this... That's Helen, so it's my grandmother. But before long, I'll have a return address for you to write back to. Don't miss me that much. I'm wondering, right? Oh, look, Frank Kuchen. I'm wondering if this this person who we think is maybe somebody that grandmother got with is maybe it's another like a, a, a child that they had maybe or something like that if you know what I mean they had a they had a kid a previous family maybe and they've reconnected with their their child Maybe it's the misdirection is that we think it's a um, some sort of a, a guy that she she got with or had an affair or something. Well, would you look at this? A postcard from the mystery man. What was he running from? The cops, the mob, his conscience. Hmm. His conscience. His conscience? <laughs> I don't know if you can outrun your conscience by going to Canada. You can if, uh... <laughs> I'm trying to think of a Canada joke. It's tricky. It's not working. That's okay. I'll give you an A for effort. <gasps> Bested. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Grandma had a connection to the president. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, it's a like a, a Metal Gear Solid situation. Maybe Grandma was trying to save the president in some sort of way. <laughs> Symbol. Yep. Sure is a mixing bowl. Can. What have we got here? Pear halves in syrup. Unopened. Hmm. Only I had a tin opener. Gold metal packing co. I'm sure those still taste delicious. Hmm. Strawberries and syrup. Are these potato can canned potatoes? Can of potatoes. Sugar, milk, box of crackers. Ooh. Luca does like crackers. She loves plain old crackers. Any drawers? Anything? I think that's it for in here. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, calendar. Let's say there. Friendship day. Very nice. Summer's lease hath all to short date. Bill Shakespeare. Cool. Oh, what's this? Ooh. Unopened Cabernet Sauvignon. Man, that might be worth something. Hey, I highlighted something there. Cookies, fitment, and rich dog food. Judy's potato chips. In a can? No way. Didn't know they used to do that. Regular barbecue or vinegar. Can of potato chips. Freeze. How do we get... How do I... How do I get this... Home America, 1968. Wow, look at that. That car. I do love the 60s sort of uh, aesthetic. That nuclear... What would you call it? Nu nuclear aesthetic, <laughs> I guess. 
nuclear power. Again, sort of that stuff you see in Fallout. St. Benedict, Benedict Messenger. Fankuchen, Michigan. Published by the Benedict Luther, Lutheran Church. Warren Baker, Nancy H. Simmons. Oh, they've got bowling at the church. Men's League, Finance Committee Mission, a meeting, choir, confirmation classes, Sunday school, potluck, luncheon. Finance Committee. A finance committee is searching for new members to join their cause. If you are interested in assisting the committee, speak to Mrs. Nancy Simmons. Weddings. Linda Fuller and Dick Gre uh, Greenson will be married on Tuesday evening at 7.30 o'clock. We pray that the Lord Jesus may rightly bless the young couple. Full offerings. Uh, uh, wait, is there anything interesting here? I'm interested to know about the potluck luncheon, to be honest. We invite all new and returning members of the congre or congregation to join us after the 11 a.m. service for a potluck luncheon held behind the church immediately after. Please, pre please bring a dish to pass. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I don't know how that relates to everything, unless I've missed something. <sighs> Oh, what's this? Where's that? Muramek Cabins? Oh, Jesse James Hideout. Stanton. Darling, I've been driving up and down the highway and byways. So, not a kid, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't, I, I think my theory's just been squashed. Right now. <laughs> I'm not the greatest detective. Darling, I've been driving up and down the highway and byways, looking for the perfect spot somewhere secluded, where no one would think to look with a little bit of space. And I know you always liked a place near the water. I'll find something soon. Just keep biding your time and don't let on. Hmm. So she's still in Orange Street, Greenville. Michigan. Hmm. Actually, where can I um do a hey mom with that? Yeah. Aha! They were really gonna run away together, huh? He thought so anyway. Whoever he was. Why do you think Grandma decided not to run off with him? Well, maybe she just came to her senses. She could have gotten swept up in all the emotions and everything after Father died, and then when the time came, she thought better of it. Maybe. Or... Or... Maybe he thought better of it. Or maybe something super messed up happened. Hmm. I'm gonna do that. Maybe he thought better of it. Maybe he changed his mind. Maybe he thought better of it. <clears throat> like, maybe he met somebody else. Somebody who caught his eye while he was on the run. Somebody without, like, kids and responsibilities and stuff. Could be. I'd just be a little surprised. He seemed quite devoted. Hmm. Okay. The plot doth thicken. Yeah, canned potato chips, Pringles prototype, possibly. That's definitely something I'm gonna have to look up. Because I've never seen <laughs> that uh can. Of chips. Ooh, nice drawing. Who's that? Somebody climbing a tree? The sun looks like a, a basketball. August New Friend by August Divine. August and Dad. Oh, August Dad left her a sp special tie. I guess that is. Now, let's read it like this. A special tie. Um, she met her friend Nightshade. Nightshade lived in the shadows and would always be there to help. 
He was Olga's friend who would never go away. Ew. Okay. Nightshade? It was because he could only come out at night. Or stay in the shade, as I remember it. Okay, well that's spooky as hell. August Imaginary was just a friend? kid. She needed someone to talk to. Did it have to be a freaky, imaginary friend who lurked in the shadows? I mean, what about you or Grandma Helen? Well, I was a teenager. I don't think I was the most, I don't know, compassionate at that age. I had my own problems. If I had a little sister and Dad died, I'd be there for her to talk to. It's different. You don't know what having a little sister is like. Are you trying to say you were justified in not helping your little sister when she was grieving after her father died? I helped. I did. I mean, we were all there for each other, but... I could have used more help, too. I don't think I had anything left to give. Mm. So August made a new friend for herself. One who would always listen. Oh, August. So that's Nightshade, is it? Because they're in the shadow. See, yeah, this game could easily turn into a horror game. <laughs> I don't think it will, but it could do. Uh, pick up an ashtray. Everybody's got the same ashtray. Molavino, is that Cabernet? Sauvignon, very nice. What's Fallout? <laughs> That's interesting. That's what we were just talking about. What's Fallout and how you can be saved? Fallout is nothing more than particles of matter in the air, made radioactive by nuclear or thermonuclear explosions. When an atomic or hydrogen bomb is exploded close to the ground, thousands of tons of atomized earth building materials rocks blah 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 don't get discouraged don't get panicky blah 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 uh prepare shallow area stop your ship basic basic uh information <laughs> for that time i guess uh we didn't get any grandma law no we didn't haven't had any extra grandma law we had a little bit of august Law. August had an imag imaginary friend. It seems. Um. But yeah. Ooh, stuffed animal. Very cute. Hey, mom. Oh, look at this big pink guy. <laughs> Kurt won that for me, at the fair. Kurt? We, mom. We met at the drive-in diner. <gasps> you had a summer fling? <laughs> I, well, was he cute? I thought he was very handsome. And he rode a motorcycle. Oh my god, a bad boy? Did you, wait, did you roller skate his order out to him on his motorcycle? H how did that work? He parked the motorcycle and sat at a table inside. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Sorry, getting caught up on the details here, but tell me more about Kurt. It, well, honestly, I fell for him pretty hard that summer. It was pretty, uh, cool on his motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> he was very romantic. Oh, no. <laughs> no, not like that. Well... A little like that. Ah, oh, no. I want to know, Mum. So, what happened? Did you break up with him, or? Uh, I don't remember. It was just a summer thing. It doesn't really matter. Wow. Did I hit a nerve? Hey, maybe we should keep looking around for more relevant things. Okay. We shall. We shall look around for relevant stuff. But it was nice to know. A little bit about your 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 past love life, mother, mother dearest. Not that's something I would not want to know. Okay, that's everything in here. I think that is 
all there was. But it feels like I've missed something. Because I still haven't found a a pitcher or a key. Is there a key in here? So yeah. It's possible Mum has a photo out there. Then some at home. Some clues. Okay. There's got to be something else. Something I've missed. These pictures, maybe? Or this phone? No. Pheasant. Hmm. Where are all the other rooms, then? So... This is like a... I'm missing something here. Because this is only a part of the house. Oh, it's because that's blocking it. Sheesh, what happened here? Looks like the wall gave way. Water damage, I guess. What is this thing? It's the water heater. Oh, that, that's why you said water damage. I get it, I'm following along. Well, it's not going anywhere now. Can we climb over it? No! God, look at all that rusty metal. I'm up on my tetanus shots, aren't I? I was gonna say. We're not risking it. Don't get tetanus. Well, what's that thingy back there? Hmm, it's a maintenance hatch for getting down into the crawl space under the house. Oh, we can go under the Is house. Is there any other way into the crawl space? I think there's a way to get in from around the back. Why are you acting so excited? Well, if we could get into the crawl space, we could climb back up out of that hatch and get over to that side of the mobile home to find more stuff. I'm not sure why you're using the plural here. And also, I really want to see if there's any cool, creepy stuff under there. Like a skeleton. Listen, you can give it a peek if you want, but there is no way I'm crawling under there with you. You're on your own. Hey, no problem. More cool, creepy stuff for me. Very nice. Let's get... Let's do some creepy stuff. Right. What was that? A freaking water heater fell through the wall. We can't get around it. But there's a weird hatch in the floor. Maybe I can go under the house, come up through there. So let's find this crawl space. Exit or entrance. Let's walk around the back. Let's walk this way around the back. This is a nice spot. There's like nothing around. It's absolutely beautiful. I want to live here. Why would you be sleeping on this summer house? Man. Is that a building over there? It's out there. Somewhere. That buried bootlegger gold. <laughs> uh-huh. Bigfoot too, I hear. Do you think he found the gold already? What makes you so sure Bigfoot's a he? Mm. Oh, I love it. Equal opportunity cryptids. Very forward thinking. It's 2003, Tess. Anyone can be a Bigfoot. Very good. Okay, can anybody see a way in? Round back. Can't go through there, it's locked. So, ooh. Ah, there is, there is. Let's get in so there. So, this is how we get into the crawl space? You keep saying we. So, this is how intrepid people with an innate sense of curiosity get into the crawl space? Among other personality traits, yes. Fine then, I'll go it alone. You're probably too frail to get in here anyway. Those creaky knees of yours. Wow. Okay, into the filthy crawl space you go. See you on the other side. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get to and from the creepy space. They always fascinate me, these sort of crawl spaces in these kind of houses. Because I would, I would make a den here, right? If you were little, I would definitely make a little den here. Even though it's kind of, kind of creepy, but... Ooh, stuff. There's stuff there. Is 
Where's the pipe? Wait a minute. No. That's not a dog, is it? Oh. Oh, it's not a dog. Cool. What is that? It's like a uh I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what that is. Ooh, Ooh. this is good. Mom's gotta see this. I write to you from our new home. I write on the water. I was looking and looking and I realized that there's no better home for us than one we could just pull up anchor and split if we really needed to. So I bought us a houseboat. It's really something else. Oh, right. Wait a minute. Maybe they were kind of possibly on the run. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Really something else. Bought, bought it from an old older fellow who's kept it perfect and was just done having to maintain it in his autumn years now just get now just to get you and those kids moved up here i hope it's been a good summer right back discreetly and let me and let's make plans for a big move something i've learned since leo died is that being loaded with cash is the only way to live get ready to leave all your worries behind can we look at the oh is that the but is that the boat the idle on that's delightful i definitely live there it's lovely where is this supposed to take place i think it's uh where was it michigan i think we're in michigan What's this thing? Uh, Mom, up. I found a way in. Hang on, I'll open the back door. Hey, Mom, I found something. Look, look. Another letter. He wanted to live with Grandma on a boat. Maybe we can figure out where the boat was by looking at the photo. It looks like, well, it looks like a boat. A houseboat. Observation. Hmm can't see much of the surrounding area it's near trees maybe we can look for some of those a place in Canada with trees that narrows it down hmm are we gonna go to Canada that'd be fun any clues on the map ah Kurt about two hours drive What's that gray, gray thing? What's this about? Oh, that was the town where Kurt lived. You know, we were a summer thing, but we were planning on how we could keep seeing each other once we both went home after that's, the summer. That's adorable. I guess I was feeling pretty lost. I latched onto him and held on tight. He became my plan for how I would be okay. And that didn't work out? Yeah. Like these things often do. So how'd you end up with Dad? Sorry? Well, you didn't end up with Kurt. How'd you end up with Dad? Oh, it was a lot of years later that I met your dad. After college, I moved back to Greenville for my bookkeeping job. It was, it was actually when I was in one of the first plays I performed in at the Andromeda. Your dad was in the audience. He hung around outside the stage door after the show and flagged me down. He said there was a problem with the production. He was so distracted by my beauty that he couldn't pay attention to anything else going on in the play. Smooth. That's so lame. <laughs> kind of romantic, but I'm going to say that's lame. Aw, that's so lame. Dad's always been corny as hell. I... have I found it endearing at the time. He was very persistent. Was Dad big into local theater? Uh, no. He told me later that he'd actually been at the play on a date with someone else. He told her he needed to head home, 
then hung around the theater to talk to me. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Bold. Did you find that endearing? I guess at the time I found it flattering. And a little funny. <laughs> I should have realized it was a red flag. Wait, are you saying Dad cheated on you? Or don't go there? Well, let's let's just let's pull the uh, the the plaster, the band aid off, quickly, shall we? Wait, are are you saying Dad cheated on you? Oh God, no, 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 no! Oh man! Just uh, <clears throat> you know, it's a sleazy move. So, not the kind of thing Kurt would have done. Oh, I don't know. Well, at least our dad didn't uh, didn't do the dirty on on mum. So that's good. Anything there? Any any laundry? Presto Clino. You pay only one seventy nine. Anything in here? Ooh, he's paper clipping. What a place to leave a newspaper clip in. Um, there's a lot of this stuff in this game has reminded me of my my own family. Like my my mom and dad met on uh, uh, in a cafe on the pier where we live, and uh, they had a jukebox there. They met in the '60s, so you know all the all the teenagers were hanging around where the jukebox was, and um, and my my mum's friends kept talking about this guy. You know, the, this good-looking guy. And then uh, <laughs> and my mom was like, who is this guy to keep talking about? And when my mom met my dad, she was like, ah, oh, this guy looks like a douchebag. <laughs> what a what an idiot. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, they, they eventually, <laughs> eventually found a common ground, got together. And, uh, yeah, they'd be married for Flip. Well... Since, since the sixties, I think they got married in the sixties, and they're still still married. It's crazy. Confidential to Precious Stone, your young idol, your young idealistic, and you trust easy. Yeah. Oh, all right. This is this a uh, watching thing. You are open heart. You are who have an open heart and a lot of pain to heal. Don't let someone who's more flesh and substance take advantage of that. Hmm. Okay. Precious stone. This was to you. Grandma's writing advice to rocks. Let's just be silly. What is this? Advice for rocks? No dingus, that message was for me. Dingus. Oh, right. My <clears throat> mother was against me and Kurt being together from the start. To be fair, I would go off to who knows where with him and sometimes not come back till the morning. Now I understand how worried she must have been as a mother. <gasps> you were a bad kid? Do you ever thank your lucky stars I'm not a bad kid? I don't know. You and Francine can stay up pretty too late. <laughs> Playing The Sims and eating pizza rolls. <laughs> yeah, Sims. you kids are wild these days. Man, I remember playing the first Sims game. It blew me away. Oh man, I got, I still have not played Sims Four. So maybe we can we can play that channel. That'll be fun. Well, this is interesting because it was in the bin. Opal, I thought I was the one who was going to have all the fun this summer before Kurt. I'm so jealous. A Casanova with a motorcycle. Jeez Louise, I've never been, never even been on a motorcycle. I've been seeing this boy named Gordon here. He's not as fun as Kurt, but he's cute and really sweet. He runs the log flume <laughs> and he's into model airplanes and ham radio. No motorcycle for me. Write back soon and tell me everything. 
I need something to read before Gordon bores me to death talking about planes. Your very best log fluming non motorcycling friend, Lori. That's cute. Ooh, you made Lori jealous. But. Gordon doesn't sound so bad. What the hell's a ham radio? Now, I know what a ham radio is. I'm sure they would know what a ham radio is at that time. Let's go. Gordon doesn't sound so bad. Gordon doesn't sound so bad. He could operate the <laughs> log flume. That's like a, a highly technical position. Impressive stuff. And model airplanes. Good with his hands. And whatever the hell a ham radio is. That's probably cool too. I think Lori ended up agreeing with you. She married him. <gasps> what? I just Gordon? saw something what in the background. What was their wedding like? Oh, I, I don't know. I wasn't able to make it. But sometimes these things do work out. I just saw the picture of, of Mom that we were looking for in the background of that cutscene. Let's do it. Let's find it. Um, yeah, The Sims is a gateway drug, mostly for more Sims. Yeah, I've, I've mentioned this before, but I, I remember a point in my life where I got really addicted to The Sims 3, and which I think is still the best Sims game even though I haven't played Sims 4, but I still think it's it's the best. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it blew me away. Um, and I would be playing that all day, for like just 24 hours a day, <laughs> basically. And, you know, I'd be washing dishes and stuff in the game and, you know, sorting my life out in the game, achieving lots of stuff in the game in terms of life you know getting a career and you know getting my house all nice and sorted and, and cool and everything and uh you know there'll be dishes piling up in my kitchen in real life so yeah sims is a very strange uh experience when you get really really into it but look at this look at that Look at my mum. Looking swish. Is there anything on the back? No. <gasps> yes! It's here! It's really here! Photographic evidence of your roller skating waitress phase. I love it. Uh, well, you definitely don't look like a real dog. You were cute. You were cute! Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, please, Mom, stop. You were cute then, and you're a uh, hot mom now. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> According to the boys at school, you are my hot mom. You didn't know about this? Ooh. No! I am not. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's, it's great. It's great having all the boys at school talking about how hot your mom is. It's great. Regardless, this photo of you is real neat, and I think we should keep it. Sure. Why not? Aw, oh, man, that's cute. It's interesting. My, my mother, I have pictures of her when she was younger as well. She was like a, um, a beauty queen when she was younger. And it's just really, really cute seeing those pictures of her. Before, before we came along. And ruined her life. No, I, I'm sure she she loved her time with her lovely kids. <laughs> Wonderful scent of fresh, juicy summer peaches can be yours with fab fabulous summer peach insta conditioner. Very nice. What's the shampoo? Gee whiz, your hair. <laughs> Fragrant shampoo. Headed to work, school, the movies, the disco, you'll find everyone saying, gee whiz, your hair. Okay. 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 What next? Well, she did mention cute, so maybe we should, uh, we should check on the old, the old Nooka cam. What's she up to? Oh, <laughs> she is crawling dangerously closer to my chair. 
this is what she likes to do, right? She will eventually, I pull the camera down here. She'll eventually get right up to my chair like this. And then I can't move. <laughs> or I might run her over. So I have to like tightrope out of uh out of my chair. Like really struggle to get out of my chair. Oh, she's doing a stretchy. There she goes. Very cute. Um, I'm hoping she's gonna have some woofy dreams but you know it's half four and she's still sleeping so it's uh it's good i can actually get on and, and play this game <laughs> without being interrupted by by a husky needing some food okay. go mechanics oh man i forgot that august had this i let her keep it when i moved into the van but august didn't even go to ford state she almost did we were both so excited to, growing up. Don't you remember Grandma talking about how much she loved it? I remember her talking about how sexist it was. Yeah, well, everything was sexist back then. But we're a Ford State family. You'll be a triple legacy. I'm not going to be a triple legacy. I don't even know if I want to go to college. Yeah, I guess. Uh, let's, let's, let's try this one. I don't even know if I want to go to college. What do you mean you don't know if you want to go to college? Of course you're going. I can make my own choices. What kind of choice is that? To be broke? I'm not going to be broke. I've been working really hard on my design business. And August didn't go to college. August was lucky. She's talented, but she's also lucky. When I'm 18... Look, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's not a discussion. Fine. Hmm. Interesting. Howdy. Well, howdy there. What's your name, buddy? Is it... Buddy? Yeah, I didn't go to university when I left school. Um, probably because I, I just didn't think I was clever enough to do it. Um, at the time, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do something with art, but I didn't know, really. I knew I wanted to make films. But there was no film industry by me. Oh, this is the key. It's the key uh -huh. to the van. This must be the key to the van. Nice. Um. So yeah, so I didn't go to university until I was 30 years old. And yeah, I'm older than 30. <laughs> so yeah, I, I didn't go to university till very late in my life. Oh, how fun. Wait. Did they not get to use these? Hey, right. Good for one. Michigan State Fair. Showtime drive-in theater. Admit one. Cool. Okay. What's this? Ma oh, okay. No video games back then, I guess. Poor, deprived kids. <laughs> Machiko. Can we, uh... We play this? I guess not. Over the Alps board game. Two to six players. A novel traveling game for all ages. Right Games Company. Doo -doo -doo. I'm pretty close to my 30s. Yeah, it's great when you hit 30. It's it's wonderful. Every twenty year old or twenty odd year old is like, oh God, I'm hit. I'm going to hit thirty. It's brilliant. As soon as you hit thirty, overnight you're like, although all those things I had hang ups about when I in my twenties, I don't care about them anymore. <laughs> you're like, it's like the pressure's off a little bit. Oh, it's a Ouija board. Oh my God, Aunt August, I have. So many questions. Yes, no, goodbye. Ooh. See, the, the potential for spooks in this game is palpable. See, in any other game, we'd be using that and then some some ghost would, would pop up. 
Ooh. Paint set. Is that my my mum's place? Uh, paint set maybe. Little artist. World colors. Oh, I'm trying to get this note. There we go. Pick up note. Uh, I can't read that. <laughs> Dear Olga, you were upset after what happened today, and that's all right. You needed time to yourself instead of talking to me, and that's all right too. But upset as you are, you need to remember boys only tease girls because they like them or because they're different. You cannot control the cruelty of others, but you can discourage it through your own appearance and behavior or learn to play along. It's time to grow up now. I know you will, love, mother. You cannot control the cruelty of others, but you can discourage it through your own appearance and behavior or learn to play along. Can't tell if that's good advice. I don't know if I agree with this advice. Yeah, I'm going to say that because I don't know if I do. Uh, I don't know if I agree with this advice. This doesn't sound very Millie to me. Millie was just a character, honey. I, I know, but didn't she usually give advice Grandma would have given? How could you tell a little kid that getting picked on was their own fault? I don't know if that's what she meant. It's right here. She's like, if people are mean to you, you should change. What, the bullies are right? She never told me that kind of thing when girls were being mean to me at school. She just told me to be myself. I guess... Well, maybe if Mother could have gone back and given August the advice she gave you instead, she would have. I hope so. Hmm. A lot of family dynamics coming to the surface here. Oh, look at this. X marks the spot. House. Ah, dog. Dog house. Tree. So it's right by the dog house. Looks like the, the hand of August. I'd recognize that penmanship anywhere. This piece was clearly done by an accomplished artist. A cartographic prodigy? Do you think there'd be anything there to dig up that was left behind? It'd be like a time capsule. Maybe she was going to come back for it later. It was her first investment. <laughs> she got started early. I don't know. Let's just go see what it is. Okay. I found a map to bury treasure in all this room. Could it be the fabled bootlegger called? Probably not, but it's it might be something cool. X marks the spot by the doghouse. Okay, okay, okay. You tried this already? Yeah, I've tried everything in here, I think. And did I look at this? Ah, the mean boys. Ah, I probably should have looked at this first before <laughs> the other one. Let's flip over. Hmm. Okay, let's read this. Mean Boys by August Divine. One day August rode her bike to town because of how sunny it was. Because it was sunny, her friend Nightshade had to follow behind her the behind under the trees because he lived in the shade and shadows and can't go out in the sun. August left as Nightshade ran along under the trees and she and Nightshade made jokes together. When August and Nightshade got into town, the boys outside the general store, they saw August's special tie that made her safe, but it didn't make her safe from... Them. The mean boys came closer. They said, Who are you talking to? And what are you wearing, stupid? August said, My dad's tie. The mean boys said, Your dad must be stupid. August was crying but the mean boys didn't care they left and left august looked for nightshade but nightshade couldn't help because he was trapped in the shade under the tree far away when the mean boys went away august went under the tree with nightshade august's special tie was all dirty she gave nightshade a hug to feel better but it didn't help enough oh silly mean boys there hey mom 
Yeah. Poor kid. Did she get made fun of a lot? At school and stuff? I think she got picked on when she was little, but she toughened up. I guess right around this age, when we came back from our last summer trip. What changed? I don't know. Hmm. Can we go out the back? Hey, there we go. Let's dig for buried treasure. Oh, it's over this way. I think I've got everything there, but we'll see. It was round about here. Right. Is there a spot here? I can, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh yeah, I can see a kind of outline there now. You ready to unearth this mystery? You are really getting into the mess on this trip. Crawling through old crawl spaces, digging in the dirt. It's for the sake of the adventure, Mom. Don't let me stop you. Let's do it. The nightshade that I know to make jokes when it's... Oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah, the monster hunter. Ah, uh, nice. Yeah, <laughs> what's the next story? I beat the crap out of those silly boys. Hopefully, those silly boys. You should get them back. Oh, it's the tie. She buried the tie. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's kind of emotional. Pick up the drawing. Oh, what is this? She's sad, so she's getting a hug of Nightshade, or Nightshade, she's hugging Nightshade and he's sad? Hmm. Good by Nightshade. Thank you for being my friend. I'll miss you. Is this when she's saying goodbye to her friend? Oh, that's so sad. So this is where August buried her feelings. Mom! Come on, it's sad. What? I don't know. Maybe we should keep it. Maybe August would want it. Yeah. I think so too. I think so too. We can just put it in the car. Welcome back, Nightshade. Oh, it turns out the real treasure was the friends we made along the way. JK. It was actually the grave of August's imaginary friend, Nightshade. I feel kind of bad for disturbing it. Oh, poor Nightshade. Been in there for forever. Right, let's check out this groovy van. Oh, it's so pretty here. Look at this place. It's gorgeous. Alrighty. Let's check out men's uh men's? My mum's groovy van. Oh, it's everything I'd imagined. It's got an ugly lamp, an acoustic guitar, <laughs> a concerning scent of mold? I mean, what do you expect? It's been under this carport for thirty years. That's why I'm not coming inside. Okay, I'll just look around and get out. It is kind of gross in here. Oh man, this is cozy. Yeah, vinyl records. I knew there'd be vinyl records in here. Look at these little uh, nail polish, a lamp. Oh, oh we've got some alas. of this. Not so groovy anymore. It is sad when a lava lamp dies. You can fix them, I think, though. Is that something I can pick up? No. Oh. Okay, playbill. Wow. Mom was even into theater back then. Huh. Death of the Salesman, Arthur Miller. And the School for Scandal by Richard Brinsley Sheridan. First published 1777. Cool. 
at his record player. That's awesome. These records, hopefully, were not kept like this. Could be first first editions. Screwdriver. Can we take this? Yeah, we can. Pick up owner's manual. Sabina 120 owner's manual. Is there anything else we can do it? No. Put back. Holy oh. shit. Is this a letter from from Kurt? It is. This babe, this summer's been real out there. We've got <laughs> oh man. This is a classic 70s speak. Babe, this summer's been real out there, but I've got a split. I'm not hip <laughs> I'm not hip to another winter with snow. I'm on my bike, headed to Cali. Look me up if you ever if you ever out that way. Kurt with a C. Gotta take that. We're going to have to take that. Anything else? Mm, no. Apart from this playbill. Murder at Mont Montague Manor. Adapted from for the stage by Monty Prentice. It's Jay Simmons. Okay. Is that everything? Oh, we didn't read. Did we read a letter? I don't think we did. Wow. Brutal, Lori. Brutal, but kind of fair. Dear Opal, are you getting my letters? I haven't heard from you since you told me about Kurt. I've been waiting, uh, writing you every week. Things at the park are lame. All the fun people have left now. Now it's just me, Gordon, and the dogs from Sandusky. If I don't get anything back, I'm going to assume you're too preoccupied with Kurt to write to me. At least one of us is having fun. I'll talk to you when school starts, I guess. Unless I'm too busy. Laurie. Hmm. I wonder if they stayed friends. I'm guessing it was a strained relationship that summer. <laughs> How was the stuff? Groovy as you'd hoped? Well, I found, um... This note from Kurt? Uh, just a screwdriver in the glove box, that's it. Hmm, let's, let's, let's talk about Kurt, right? This? Oh. You guys didn't just drift apart at the end of the summer, did you? No. No. I came to work at the diner one night, and they said someone had left a note for me. And it was this stupid thing. <laughs> that sucks, Mom. I just felt like such an idiot. I'd put all my energy into plans, planning how we'd be able to stay together, planning how our life was going to be, planning how he'd be the answer for how I was going to be okay. And then, one day, this. I don't know if I've ever cried as much as I did for the week after I got this. Hmm, he seems like an a-hole. He seems like maybe he just wanted something different than you. I gotta say, he seems like an a-hole. I don't know him that well, but I want to make my mum feel better. He seems like an asshole. Hey, language. But he was. But he was. All right. You're not wrong. <laughs> there was a lesson I should have learned that summer. You can't rely on other people. Oh, what? man. If you put your trust in other people, if you expect them to be there for you, one day they won't be. That's not the way to live, so you just shouldn't have friends or relationships? So what? You shouldn't have friends or relationships? Well, no, I just mean you can care about other people, but you have to be ready for them to go away and be okay on your own when they do. Are you... You're making it sound like... Are you saying Dad left you? 
I thought you said you both agreed to get divorced. <clears throat> hmm. Well, either way, he's not here, is he? Mom, what happened? With you and Dad splitting up? He always makes it sound like... Like you wanted him to leave, but... He does? I, I mean, I... If he's telling you I wanted this, I... <laughs> <laughs> See? This is why you need to be okay on your own. If you're fine on your own, when they leave, you don't have to feel this way. Remember that. Um, Come on. I also found this little screwdriver. Oh, okay. That might come in handy. For what? I don't know where I'd use that. But, uh, yeah, not, mum, that's not, that's not good, good advice. You don't want to be just, you know, suspicious that everything's gonna, gonna hurt you. I wonder what you need a screwdriver for. I'll put this radio on. What else we gotta do? Turns out real treasure... Turns out... I think that might be it. Treasure was the friends who made a long way. I think I've had considering it. Okay. Well. We got a screwdriver. But for what? And for why? Hmm. Is there something in here? Just a gun. Well, we know there's a gun here, just in case it does turn out into to be a horror horror game. Just in case the ghost of Nightshade comes back or something. <laughs> right. What do we need? What do we need to do? Do we go back? Do we use this on this? Nope. Do we leave now? Nope. Oh, so we have a key. Not key. We have a um, screwdriver for... Might be in a dingus right now. What's in here? Oh, I haven't been in here, have I? That was my mom and dad's room. Well, just my mom's room last we were here. Look, I think I could twist this open from the inside with that little screwdriver I found. Hmm. That's what we need a screwdriver for. Here we go. Hey, good work. Thanks, Mom. I love that family picture, actually. That's very cute. Do you remember... Well, did it seem like Grandma wanted to leave my father? I mean, hmm. I guess when I was around your age, I started wondering why they were together in the first place. They didn't seem to make sense together. Yeah. Huh. I remember when I started wondering that about you and Dad. Why you were together. You're both so different. Did you used to have more in common? Um, well, when you're together at first, everything about each other is new. It can cover up a lot of things. But when you get used to each other, that's when it can be hard. But sometimes, you know, by that point, it's too late. Too late? Because you're already married? Because you have a kid? Maybe it's that one. Because you're already married? Mm-hmm. So you wish you'd never married Dad? You wish you hadn't gotten married in the first place. And that I wasn't around. <laughs> I'm sure it would have made your life a lot easier. Honey, that's not how it is. It's not as simple as that. And it's not because of you. There's... Uh, there's a lot more to it. We'll talk about it someday. Wins someday. Not today. Then when? 
Not today. Oh. Look at that. Looks like the perfect family unit. With a ton of secrets and lies. Where's this from? Disco Star. Um, Heartbreaker. Hot Spring. Super. Okay. Darling, now, wait. It sounds like someone's getting cold feet all of a sudden. We had a plan. Leo dies. I make tracks for the border. And when the dust settles, you follow me. This doesn't work if only one of us makes tracks. I've got everything you could ever hope for up here. A place of our own, a quiet little town where nobody knows our names, and a pile of cash that'll keep us going till who knows when. The kids will love it too. What kid wouldn't want to live on a boat? Get these silly ideas out of your head and get back on track. And we'll be together soon. Hey, Mom. Would you have loved living on a boat? <laughs> I don't think so. I wonder what age he thought I was. He couldn't have thought a teenage girl would want to... Wait. I, I hadn't even thought of that. My mother was just going to take me and August, and we were all going to run off to Canada? I mean, of course she wasn't just going to leave us behind, but... Sounds like Grandma had some big plans worked up. Well, look, he said she started having cold feet. And she must have written him back and said she wasn't sure if she could come after all. You think she realized that maybe her kids wouldn't have been so happy moving onto a boat with some random man in Canada? Mm, maybe. Can I start calling him Canada Man? You can call him whatever you want. This is so strange. Love makes you do crazy things. Love or grief? Both? Hmm. The plot thickens. The Holy Bibli. Uh, astrology book. Asha, what is? Can I? Uh, I can't look inside the book. Uh, can I pick up that book? Nope. Alrighty. I hope that's rocks in the corner there. Freaky. Yet appealing. <laughs> that is freaky. Oh, Grandma. Yeah, maybe he is LeChuck. Maybe. Anything, anything, anything cool? Anything cool in his drawers? Nope. It's the goose. Yep. That's a, that's a goose. That's a goose, all right. Definitely a goose. Uh, King, Queen, Royal Flush. Ooh. Was Grandma into cards, maybe? Maybe they won loads of money. Oh, my mom loved this desk. I remember when she brought it home from the flea market. Jeez, how many desks did Grandma have? <laughs> uh, kind of a lot, I guess. I mean, she was a writer. She liked to move around. Well, let's see what she was hiding in here. Ugh, it's locked. Hmm... This gives me an idea. Little key from Grandma's diary. Yeah. The little key from Grandma's diary? <gasps> right. Ah, look at this. Oh my days. So many secrets. Helen, you can't just leave me here. I did all this for you. All for you. And those are my kids too, you know. I redacted need. What does that say? Need to have a right. Or I, they, I need to have a right. It's changed to I have a right. Wait a minute. This is getting crazy now. In Ontario, up to Lake. This is, uh... What's that? What? I'm it's sorry. Deeper. What? What does he mean? When he says those are his kids? 
I... W was Grandpa Leo n not your real dad? I... Could that have been why he was trying to run away with you in August and Grandma Helen? I can't even imagine. Look, look, Mom. Look. This one. This note. It has a return address. Pierre Lautrec. Box 9. Hop to Lake. Carndale, Ontario. Mm, do, we should say, do you want to check it out? See, it's like my, my mother's feelings on the line here. Do you want to check it out? Do you want to go check it out? What? No. No? But... Tess, we already drove however many hours up here and dug around getting dirty and all this stuff. I'm not driving us to Canada based on some return address from over 30 years ago. We have the rest of the house to pack up and I still need to call the electric company to schedule our end of the service, which I probably should have done sooner and- Mom, stop. This is your father we're talking about here. It's about who you really are. The house can wait a day. This can't. You're gonna pass up a trip to Canada. This is your father we're talking about here. I'm gonna say this house, the house can wait. Yeah. The house can wait a day. This can't. The house actually can't wait. Mm. A day? I mean, come on. It can't be that far of a drive. It says it's right across the border. And if we don't do it now, you think we're really ever going to come back? You could find out who this guy really was. Who your father really was. Who we really are. But not if we just turn around and go home. Okay, listen. Yes. Hey, I, I'm not doing this because of your sterling rhetorical skills. You didn't win this one. I just happen to agree with you. I do want to know who my mother might have been mixed up with, and, and why she never told me about it, and who my real father is. And if we go check out this address, we might find nothing. But we might find something. So if one more day of driving is all it takes to find out one way or the other, then why not, right? Yeah, let's right. do it. Glad I could convince you. No, you just happen to be right. <laughs> exactly. Glad you came around to see things my way in the end. Okay, should we get going? It's getting dark. Yeah, let's find somewhere to stay for the night. We'll look up directions. Get back on the road in the morning. Hotel night. We're getting room service. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Best weekend ever. But we didn't nice find one. that hidden fortune you were so excited about. Yeah. Maybe it's on the other side of the border. <laughs> Maybe. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's continue this road trip. What the heck? Is this Pierre Lutrec? My mom my mom's real dad? Scandal. We found an address for some place in Canada. We've got to check it out. Time to hit the road. Anything else here that we can have a look at? Ooh, is this uh, Grandma getting married? We have sympathy cards open. Condolences, our thoughts are with you, Janet, David, and David Richards. Okay. Sympathy card. Who sympathies? Who's this from? Helen, so sorry to hear about you, your loss. Please let me know if there's anything we can do. The Saltzmans. I think that's it. Oh, I've got to pick up that pen. Oh, I was hoping I could uh, keep that. Okay, let's hit the road. Let's continue this crazy trip. No rush. No need to run. I'm going to check if my the mouse works. Hold on. Nope. That doesn't work at all. That's so strange. How I can't uh, control this with the mouse. Bizarre. Anyway. Let's go. 
to get back on the road. Look at this lovely day. Let's get some snacks. Get a hotel. All right. Time to order that room service. Uh... This is not the kind of place that has a room service. I'm sorry. What? Hotels do room service. This is a motel. Just like the summer place was a mobile home and not a trailer. <laughs> right. But the other way around. But there's a restaurant and lounge right next door, though. I'm gonna head down there and get us dinner, okay? And I'm going to have a cocktail while I wait. It's been a long day. I'll be back with something to eat soon. Well... All right. That's almost like room service. Hmm. What do you want to eat? Oh. Um, burger? Um, burger it is. Do I'd love homework. an umburger. I knew I shouldn't have bought my backpack on this trip. No one expects me to do my homework. Well, I guess there's not much else to do cooped up in this motel room. I don't want to do my homework. Not going to lie. I... Do not want to do my homework. But I guess I have to. Anything? Anything interesting? Ooh. Ooh, a visitor's guide. Oh. Um. Hmm. Farm festival? Historic downtown? Uh, what's that? Crafer Bridge? Sailing? I guess it's not my cup of tea. I'm just going to leave all these drawers open. Why not, eh? <laughs> Turn on the TV or do homework. I think I got a message. Hey, Tessa Beer. How... I oh, hope you had a good day. Busy with some work late tonight. But we'll talk to you, to you tomorrow. Thinking of you always, Dad. Hi, Dad. What's up, Tessa Bear? Nothing. Just gonna cross the Canada border soon. Want to say hi? Canada? What for? We found some clues in Grandma and Grandpa's old summer house, and we think there might be more to find another place across the border. So we're gonna check it out. Tess, are you hunting for bootlegger gold without me? Ah, maybe. We're going to see what we find. Can't wait to hear all about it once you're back. And to get my cut of the action. Can't wait to talk to you too. I had a question. It's about you and Mum. I feel... Uh, I feel a bummer in coming, but okay. Well, you always said Mum wanted to, to you to leave. And that's why you're not living with us anymore. But Mom said you were the one that wanted to leave. I'm so confused. She said that, huh? Well, I'd say it was mutual, kid. But I had a big opportunity out here, and I had to take it. I understood why your mom didn't want to come along, and that's okay. That's why you left home and quit Video Galaxy and everything? It's not the same without you here, or at the store. Ha, I'm sure the store is even better without me. Who wants their dad as their boss? But you made the store so fun. The window displays and the Halloween costume contest and movie quote trivia, the new manager is just boring. So what is your big opportunity out there? Well, you know I headed out here for a new biz venture and I'm uh, in the investment stage. Can't wait to tell you more about it, but just wouldn't feel comfortable till I know it's going to pan out. All right, then. Just want to make sure everything's perfect for when I tell you more. Remember when you were little and I worked, oh, and you worked on that book you drew me for weeks, and I wouldn't let and wouldn't let me peek at it till it was all done. I've still got that book right here with me, and you didn't want me to see it until. You had it all perfect. This is just like that. You still have that? Yeah, I'd never part with it. 
No way, no how. I just didn't want to disappoint you by jumping the gun. You understand, don't you, kiddo? Uh, yeah, can't wait to hear more. Soon, I hope. Got to get back to it. Love you, Test Bear. Oh, I didn't realize you could choose. <laughs> anyway, they, they they kind of say the same thing. Love you too. Text Francine. Oh, we've got to text Frankie. Hey, Frankie. We, uh, we survived the abandoned summer home. And how haunted was it? Very. Extremely. A little. Not really. I say extremely. Extremely. Oh my god. How many ghosts did you see? Nothing but ghosts. The place was packed full of them. <laughs> Damn, I want to see a ghost. Speaking of spooky, how did your mum react to you telling about Nevada? Shut up! Ha. Huh. I, I didn't tell her why are you so obsessed with that. You need to tell her. What if she doesn't let you go? I'm gonna. And she will let me go. Just do it now. Okay, I will when it's the right time. When? I don't know. So, did you find what you were looking for? Um, yes and no. We're heading up to Canada tomorrow. What? Yeah, we found some stuff about who my grandpa might have been, and might have really been. We're going to see if we can find out more about him. Uh, what? You might be part Canadian? Yo, one... Yeah, I see yo, yeah. Um, a quarter of maple syrup running through my blood. I'll call and tell you about it when we're home. Reception out here is bad. We're in a weird little motel for the night. It sucks. I'm going to say it's pretty cool. It's old and vintage, and my mom's getting me a burger from the bar. That's awesome. We have we uh, will have you look around the motel room. Uh, well, have you looked around the motel room? Is there anything weird in there? Probably. If I find anything weird, I'll text you about it. Put the phone. I put the phone in my pocket. So I might go off again. Francie wants me to hear about weird stuff. Okay, we we'll check around this place. Backpack? Calculator? Homework? Oh, do I... Do I look around? TV remote? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. There is a trick I could do if there's a pencil. Pick up a pen. Can I do it with a pen? Nah. You can do that thing where you, um... You, you uh, scratch over the pad and you can see what other people have written on it. Because the indents are there. Holy Bible. Nope. Nothing. Can I get that one? No. Yeah, there we go. Nope. Right, what's on this pad? Anything? Hmm. Seems to be anything weird around here. Nope. Oh, text Francine. Pick up a pill bottle. Fluxotine. Fluxotine. Text fancy in a minute. Mouthwash. Toiletry case. Can I look inside it? Nope. That's a dirty. That's a dirty mirror. <laughs> Man. Oh so, yeah. Definitely stealing these. Shampoos. Sex fancy. I bought my towel. Uh, I. Brought my towel from home. What? My own towel. It's named Dr. Softness. Oh no, honey. It's soft. It's pretty. It's mine. I say it's pretty. It's pretty there. It's, 
Uh, it's pretty. There isn't another like it. It's a towel, though. Fine, okay. Look, I don't want to use motel towels. <laughs> Fair enough. Continue. I mean, they were just hanging there when we got here. Yeah, they just cleaned them and hung them for you, did they? Yes. I don't like not knowing. If you want to be worried about motels, I have one word for you. Sheets. Oh, yeah. Sheets might be, uh... I'm hoping the sheets are washed. Let's put it that way. Thanks, Francine. I uh, just found some pills in my mum's suitcase. I'm not going to do that because it feels a little uh, stepping over the line, I think. My mum sleeps in a shirt. What's a sleep shirt? At some point, adults get them. <laughs> They're from a concert or a college. Which is it? My mum's college. That's cool. I don't know. I think I might go to work after high school. My mum wouldn't explode, though. Or my mum would explode. You're going to hate this. What? Your mum's right. You should go to college. You can do your ideas after. School is long. School is expensive. Both of those things. Expensive. School is expensive. Instead, I could have a pool. So it's education or a pool. Yes, and I choose pool. I'll shop about... Uh, I will shut up, but you should go. You're too smart. You need to show them. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I can't talk. Like I said, I went to uh, school a bit later in life. Not school. University. Change shower. Yes, we need to pay. Hmm, okay. Let's do our homework. Hey, it's burger time. How's that homework coming along? Fine. How was the restaurant? Ugh, overpriced. But I guess that's the price you pay for convenience. Here's your burger. Thanks. Enjoy. I'm gonna call August. Tell her I said hi. August? Guess where I am? At a motel in Poetan. <laughs> Tess and I took a little road trip. She says hi. We paid a visit to the old summer house. You remember the summer house? Mobile home. Yes, it's still there. Anyway, we came away with some questions about mom and dad. Oh, man. This burger is my rival, and I will defeat it. <laughs> is it a, a big burger, maybe? Ooh, that looks scrumptious. Oh, I'm eating that. I am eating that. <laughs> Can I listen out to what they're saying? I thought I'd be able to uh, hear what they're saying. See all this burger. Very nice. I have vanquished the mighty burger. I just. Do you think. Could Dad have. <sighs> yeah, she's here. Hold on. She wants to talk to you. I'm going out for a smoke. Back in a few. Hello, Teresa. Hi, and August. This is all... It's pretty crazy, huh? It is. Yeah, that's one word for it. How do you feel about it? Uh, it's pretty exciting. It's pretty depressing. I mean, it's exciting, but I don't really know what to think I, yet. Honestly, I'm not sure. Me neither. It's so surreal. I can't imagine Grandma having an affair, but 
I also don't think she would have if it wasn't the right thing to do. Yeah. It seems pretty out of character, but she was an interesting person. My dad... I was still pretty young when our dad died. For your mom, I think this is all a lot harder on your mom than on me. I never really knew him. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. I've spent enough on therapy to almost be over it. Did you guys find anything out there? I haven't been since we were kids. Uh oh, that's mentioned nightshade. What you think? I gotta mention nightshade. I I <laughs> I don't know if it's the right thing to do, but I want to see what happens. We found your old friend, Nightshade. Oh, Nightshade. I'd forgotten about him. Kind of a spooky name. <laughs> yeah, I was a spooky kid. You know, our dad dying really did shake me up. Nightshade was to try and fill that void, I guess. That must have been hard. Yeah. What about the house? What was it like? It, uh... It was pretty beat up. Yeah. I'm surprised it was still standing. I guess part of me hoped we could just move out there. <laughs> move out there? Oh my gosh. You're breaking my heart. You'd rather live in the middle of nowhere than in Chicago? What? With me, in the townhouse. Didn't your mom say? No. What about mom? Can can she stay with you? Of course. Both of you. But she doesn't want to. What do you mean? She... <sighs> Look, you should talk to her about it. It isn't my place. Why didn't... Oh, hold on. Work is calling. Uh, I gotta go. Love you, Teresa. Uh, love you too, Anne August. Ooh. Let's check out text. Hey, I've got to help my dad with dinner. Have a good drive to Canada. Don't let the moose bite. I really know. I really want to meet um, Aunt August now. Nope. Still nothing on the TV. I want to get to bed. Have I done my done my work? Yep. Okay. Let's go and find our moms. And Jocelyn is looking at him, and it's so obvious that she forgot her line. And of course she did, because she only got off book a few days before, and he's just staring at her. Uh huh. And Todd needs her to say it, otherwise the whole scene makes no sense, and it's dead quiet. It's opening night! And so then, she just says, Who are you? The Pirate of Penzance? Tess. What? Are you even listening to what I'm saying? Yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm listening. If you want to just drive quietly for a while, that's fine. I can do that. This drive is so fe freaking boring. I wonder what's going on with Dan and Francine. More text messages, eh? Can we put the radio on? Oh. Nice. Let's try this. I'm going to keep it on there. Okay. Wait, where's my cell phone? Oh, it's in my pocket. In my backpack? No, it's in my pocket, isn't it? Oh no, it wasn't in my pocket. Because I put it back on the, uh, the, f the, the, the table. Oh no. What? Oh, nightmare. My cell phone. I left my cell phone at the hotel. Are you sure? Yes, I looked everywhere. It's not in the glove box. It's not in my backpack. I, I don't have the charger either. I, I must have left it on the charger at the hotel. Oh, nightmare. We have to go back get it. We have to go back and get it. I need my phone. Um, I need that. my phone. 
Tess, we have been driving for over an hour already. We are not driving all the way back to the motel just so you can have your phone for one day. You don't understand! I might be gone. Uh, it might be gone if we don't go back for it. Uh, Francie's gonna be worried. I just need it. I guess it might be gone. It might be gone if we don't go back for it. I'm sure it'll be in the motel lost and found. We can pick it up on the way home. Mom, we have to turn around. We haven't been driving for an hour. We yes, could... we have. We left one hour and 18 minutes ago. Well, we can drive faster on the way back. I am not breaking the speed limit and getting pulled over and getting a ticket because you can't wait till tonight to get you know, your... I, I wouldn't have left my phone there if it wasn't for you. You, you. you were lying to me. And I was so distracted. And now, and now you won't even go back and... Hold on, hold on. Oh dear. I was lying to you? When was I lying to you? It's all coming to the surface now. It's all boiling up. You never told me about the pills you're taking. Um, you didn't tell me we could stay with August. I say August. It seems like we're prying. You didn't tell me we could stay with August. <sighs> Why would you just lie to me and say August was unwilling to help us? I didn't... I didn't lie. I... She doesn't want to help. Helping would be buying the house. And when I asked, she said no. But she offered to let us stay with her. And I said no. There's a million reasons why that's a bad idea. At least we'd be sleeping in a bed and not a car. We aren't going to sleep in the car. I'll figure something out. Aren't you concerned? We have no plan. You have no plan. I have a plan. I... Money might be tight, but it's not like I don't have a job. Oh, it's uh, oh, it's it's too it's too emotional. They're, she just needs. She's very st stubborn, isn't she? She might need to bite the bullet and, and stay with August. If you and Dad were still together, where do you think we'd be right now? That's a a kind of not helpful question. Why are you so disinterested in my business? Let's ask why don't they like August. Why don't you like August? Excuse me? Where did you get that idea? You always act like she's a pain when she's just trying to help. It's like you're jealous of her. First of all, I am not jealous of her. It's a lot easier to make money when you live by yourself. Especially if you're so far away. Your own family is an afterthought. I had to do all the work for Grandma. August just stayed in Chicago. You're making her sound so selfish. She's not like that. You've never lived with her, Tess. It's not going to be like your little vacation. August thinks she knows what's best for everyone. I can't be around someone like that every day. Wow, I can't imagine what that feels like. Do you think you're the only person with problems and the rest of us are just running around doing whatever? You're exhausting. No wonder Dad left. Don't bring your dad into this. Why not? Why can't we talk about Dad, actually talk about Dad for once? The divorce... I don't want to have this discussion right now. Fine. You don't want to have this discussion? I'll just find out when I go to Nevada. What? When I see Dad when I go next month. Oh, You're not dear. going to Nevada next month. Yes, I am. I already have the tickets. What do you mean? With what money? From my business. I'm going From your and... business. I can't believe you. That you would go behind my back? If you just told me what was happening, I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to ask Dad to tell me the truth. The truth? Please. Oh, so that's what this is all about, huh? You want to know what's the truth? Fine. Here's the truth. The divorce wasn't mutual. I divorced him. Oh, no. You... Your father announced he was going to Reno to become a full-time gambler and expected me to say, oh, sure, honey, Feel free to abandon me and my daughter and dying mother to try out your next get-rich-quick scheme. What? What kind of person would think a marriage could work with that kind of distance? So then I have to be the bad guy, just like always. He gets to run away and be the fun parent, and I have to be the mean mom and do all the work. So I divorced him. I'm sure he's just as proud of his new job as I am, and that's why you're hearing about it now. 
So sure, go to Nevada, ask him all about it. I'm sure he'll tell you the truth. Oh dear. Oh man, I was uh, I was wondering why she had so many. The very th first thing we picked up in this game were those um, matchbooks, and they were all like from casinos. It's all starting to, to come together. Not only did I lose my phone, but I got in a fight with my mom. This sucks. I guess now we're just going to sit here and 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 I guess now is it's going to go to the next chapter. <laughs> It's a dead end. It's not a dead end. We just have to get out and walk. Where, Tess? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I think it's through here. Thanks for the help, by the way. <sighs> Look, I know you're upset. We both are. Let's just get in, see what we can find about Pierre, and get out. Before I change my mind. Agreed. Well, looks like we finally made it. Oh, this is the boat. For the houseboat we saw in the picture. Most likely owned by the mystery man. A.K.A. Pierre. Whatever we find here better be worth it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It better be worth it. I don't know. Yeah, this is the beginning of the horror part. <laughs> It does look like a, an area in, like, Resident Evil 4 or something. Ooh, what's all this? Cigarettes? Liquor? Larry Shack. Man, this is some slow, slow walking. Please, uh, remember... What's that? This means you, Pierre. Hey! <gasps> Pierre! Pierre was here. Looks like we're on the right track. Hmm. What news? The old dock vessels must be removed prior to October 1st. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, look! It's a fishing lure. It's similar to the one we saw earlier. That's, uh... Yep, that's definitely a plate. Definitely a plate. Knives. Hmm. Oh, little Nook has woke up. Are you awake, Nookie? This could be, um... The time when Nooka goes, Okay, time to end the stream. But I feel that we're so close. <laughs> All depends on Nooka right now. All depends on the husky. Husky controls the stream. Hmm. I think that's everything. Let's check out this boat. Uh, can we actually get on it? I don't think we can. How are we supposed to get on board? Maybe there's something around here we can use. We want to get across the boat, but uh, to the boat, but we jump, can't jump. Okay, we need to find something to get across. Maybe there is a plank of sorts somewhere. Let's go that way. Parkour, yeah, parkour. Let's do it. Parkour. <laughs> uh, can't go that way. Something maybe behind this area? Methinks. Oh, this looks promising. This is so stupid. We're trespassing. We need to go back home. But no way. What if you fall off and break your neck, Tess? Or who knows what's even in that boat? Or if the floorboards are all rotted or or But we're already here. And the trailer home Mobile home. <laughs> the mobile home was fine. I, I just think if we go back now, what's the point? Don't you want to know what happened to Grandma? I do. To find Pierre? Mm. Okay, fine. You stay here, and I'll see what I can find. No, you can't go in without me. 
don't tell me what I can't do, Tess. No matter how grown up you think you might be, I'm still your mother. I... You're right. I'm sorry. I just... We've done all of this so far together. I just don't want to give that up. <sighs> all right. We'll do it together. But I should go first. No, I should go. No way! What if you fall off? I could say the same to you. I should go first. I'm not gonna let my poor, aged mother walk across a rickety bridge before I'm sure it's safe. Let's flip a coin. <laughs> Call it. Heads or tails. Uh, tails for whales. Tails. Let's do that. I lost? In a manner of speaking. After you. All right. Here I go. Careful. Not very climactic. Not quite as scary as I thought. <laughs> yeah, this thing is pretty sturdy. Especially for just sitting out here for a few decades. Let's hope we can say the same for the rest of the boat. Maybe uh, our new home, perhaps? Perhaps it could be a nice new place to live, perhaps? I would like to. Uh, it's a fixer wrapper, I, I would say. Where's all the water? <laughs> Okay. People are drinking beers. Oh, we can hear Doug. Quite the party boat Pierre had going on here. No kidding. I kind of want to clean up the rest of these. Ugh, why? Uh, well, they're all in the bucket except these two. And you always talk about how important it is to recycle. It feels like the right thing to do. It just feels like the right thing to do. That seems kind of futile. Gonna clean up the rest of this boat, too? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. This place is seeing bad days. It's like the lake's dried up a bit. Maybe it's a uh, time of year, maybe? Ooh. Should I go straight down here? Glare gun. Thing in the hat. Nope. Why did I expect there be to be something in the hat? Hatch. Evil? Is this going to turn into a horror game? Are we all going to be right? <laughs> See, if this was... If I was pre... Uh, if I knew this was a horror game, I'd probably be probably probably be a little creeped out right now. Walking around here. Board game letter. Mm. What's it say? Please don't go to the silly get silly ideas in my head. My concerns are far from silly. This affects all of us. The same way we you will have everything we could ever hope for. But I'm not the one who decided to run off across the border and have silly little Helen pick up her entire life and her children's lives at the drop of a hat to follow, no matter how much money was involved. I hope uh, for things that money can't buy, treasured friendships I've held since I was a girl, my relationship with my parents and siblings, satisfying work where I get to help people. My children grow up in the loving company of their grandparents and their friends and their friends these are the things you asked me to give up and for what isolation an unfamiliar place a leaky boat money to spend on what what does it matter if everything else is lost hmm you tell him grandma yeah not one to mince words all those years of writing advice columns paid off, I guess. Kind of nice that she was thinking about you guys, too. Not just uprooting your life, dumping you in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I can't imagine what it would have been like to grow up here. <laughs> You'd have to learn French. <gasps> Sacre bleu. <sighs> oh, no, it's already happening. <laughs> oh, man. Alrighty. I guess up the stairs. Oh, there he's here. Man, this is elaborate. 
Uh, what was it again in portion? The Six. burglary ring! Mom, Grandma's boyfriend here was a bank robber. <sighs> Why else would he have this? Maybe my mother sent it to him. For what? To keep him abreast of current events. Oh, come on, Mom. Grandma had a thing going with a bank robber. How cool is that? Well, okay, they didn't rob any banks. It was the jewelry counters at department stores and things like that. Department store robber doesn't quite have the same ring to it. And it wasn't robbery. It was burglary. What's the difference? A robbery is when you take something from someone under duress. A burglary, you take it when they're unaware. I think. You think? Listen, it's been a while since I've brushed up on my criminology. And why are they so sure it was men? What? It says the men broke into the store, but there were no witnesses. So how do they know it was men? You're thinking lady robbers. Like Catwoman. <laughs> I like it. Very cinematic. Do you think Grandma could have helped? Are you seriously asking if I think my mother was an accomplice in all this? Uh, why not? Why not? She had two kids at home, and I just don't see it. Seems like there was a lot about Grandma you weren't seeing. Excuse me? Sorry, Mom, I'm sorry. Sorry, Mom, I'm sorry. No, I mean, you know, maybe that's what she wanted me to think. I didn't know about Pierre, after all. Hmm, okay. So, <laughs> we're getting so close to finding out what's actually happening. But, I have to, uh, I have to show you what I'm dealing with right now. Okay? Are you alright, little lady? There we are. <laughs> you okay, baby? So this is the look I'm getting. There we go. <laughs> so we might have to... I might have to end the stream. <laughs> okay, Nookie. <laughs> oh, she's having a little clean. Okay. <laughs> oh, Nook Nook. How you doing, baby? How you doing? Is it time? Is it time to finish now? Or well, maybe we can finish this another time. Oh, she's on the floor now. Right by my feet. I can't even get the angle. There we go. <laughs> okay. You okay? There we go. I'm loving this Nooka cam. It's awesome. Okay. I'm going to have to finish this here. But I think we're very, very, very close to the end. So maybe we can carry this on in another stream. Yeah, Nookie. Maybe we'll carry this on in another stream. What do you think? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. you got stickies in your eyes there, baby. There you go. So, yeah. <laughs> I know it's it's kind of a cliffhanger, but needs must. You have to take care of your dog. And look at that face. How can I even resist that face? Hey, baby, you okay? So I don't think we have long left, but I'm gonna say that I'm. This is what I'm gonna do quite a lot now. Is is doing these uh, doing these streams. Um. And maybe a couple of, three times a week, two times a week. I don't know. Oh, Nookie, you're right, baby. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the next one I'm going to do is this Thursday. So, I, my, I was planning, this is my plan for Thursday, is uh, finally doing a Genshin, a Genshin stream. So, I'm going to stream Genshin Impact on... Thursday. So about the same time. Say so 2 o'clock-ish. Seems like a good time. Uh, it's a good time for me to do it anyway. <laughs> um, and I'll be doing it at different times. I'm going to also 
I'm doing a dual stream right now, but I'm also... <laughs> can you hear that? Okay, Nuki. See, this is why. This is why I have to do what she says all the time. She's a good girl. Um, yeah, so I I'm also going to be doing, say, streams on Twitch also. <laughs> um, just on Twitch. Uh, just because I want to... Um, I want to get maybe... I don't know, somewhere with Twitch. Because <laughs> I've been <laughs> dangerously close to getting um, uh, somewhere with Twitch, but uh, I always fall back. But now I'm going to actually schedule um, streams <laughs> rather than doing them randomly. So you'll see upcoming, like you did with this stream, you'll see uh, this stream, you'll see upcoming stream coming. So Thursday, i got to do it. I've got to do a Genshin stream. I haven't done it yet. I've been threatening to do one for like a year. <laughs> so that's that's what's next. Thursday, 2 o'clock. I'll send out a, a schedule notification. So yeah, do the likes, the subscribes. No fun. <laughs> Look at It's okay, Nucky. We're going to be going now. I'm going to take you out, okay? But thanks, everybody. Thanks. This has been really fun. It's probably the longest stream I've ever done, but it's been really fun. And I think we could maybe finish this in the next stream and then um, <laughs> getting, I'm getting bup now. I'm getting smacked. She's smacking me around now. She, she's going to paw me. But yeah. <laughs> Nookie paw? Need a paw? You want to go out? Okay then. There's only one way to know if Nookie wants to go out. Is uh you say this, Nuka? Is it is it time for a walk? Is it, is it time for a walk? <laughs> perfect. That was perfect, Nuki. Thank you very much, lady. Okay, then. I'm going to take her out now. But thank you very much, everybody. This has been wonderful. And thanks for thanks for being so active in the chat. It's been great talking to you. It's been lovely. Well, thank you very much, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Be excellent to one another. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Say bye-bye, Nikki. Say bye-bye. 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 Goodbye. Nuka. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. <laughs>